the best day Wow, ever. wow, wow. Look who it is. Rise and shine, boys. Uh, I I woke up and and grab uh, and Mr. Fred, sir. Okay, I'll sit in the back. Get on That's in okay. the back, Nerlin. What's taking you so long? Come I, on, get I'm, a wiggle on. I'm wiggling. I'm wiggling. Jeez, what's going on? It's looking for you guys Give me everywhere. You want to oh. oh, okay, okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, where were you? Where were you, Pa? We were. I was with. Mr. Fred, sir, and, and we were looking for you at the camp, and they get this. I saw a tree, well, and it was a stump, and I thought the tree fell over. And then he said, there we have a lot of work to do with you, pussy. I told you, Derlin, I was helping some natives. They wanted to learn how to do that sort of alarm system using your own homemade sundial, and I made two of them across the way from each other, but they're so they weren't paying attention. They didn't do it correctly, and so the alarms didn't work. And so You're I slept. You're a bigger pussy than you are. You do it. Uh, okay, okay, Dad. Oh boy, today's gonna be the greatest day ever. We're gonna have adventures. I even saw a bird, Pa. Guess what? I saw a bird. You wanna know what sound it made, Pa? What sound did it make? It went like this. You be careful, that. Get in, pussy. Oh. Oh. Get in. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. Sorry about that, Pa. What are we doing? Ah. Uh, well, last time, remember last night we were talking about going and making some money by doing those tours. Yeah. You want to go? We maybe, maybe, maybe we go to town. Well, you're the big boy now, so where are we going, big boy? Well, let's see here. Let me check my handy dandy map here. You don't need a map. I haven't shown you anything I taught you. Just use the wind and the fumes in the air. The party's It'll here. It'll guide you to civilization. All the smell of musk and piss. That's absolutely right. Um, no, but, sir. but I'd no, say, no, no, I'd no, say sir, there's so, lots of piss over in Valentine. The Valentine is in. I yeah. saw I yeah. saw a man peeing on a horse in Valentine once upon a time. I saw that. I remember. Okay, I did see it. But my friend, my friend Neville, who I who I've t who I was taking a uh, who I was taking a knot tying course with, he saw a bad peeing on another man in Valentine. Now, he said that. Now I told you, Derlin, There's reasons for that. Um, snake bite, perhaps. He could have had a, he could have had a snake bite. That's true. That's a good point. He could have had a snake bite. Remember when you had a snake bite, Darlin? You remember that? I do. I do remember when I had a snake bite, and I didn't like it at all. And and then when and then you, I thought I was maybe gonna die, and you said that it was actually a gar, garden, a garden. Was a, a garden? That's absolutely right. You got to be careful with those. Because then, you're gonna get pissed on, or someone could easily mistake it. What I tell ya, when it's red to black, when it's a snake, red to black. Red, red, red to black, you're okay, Jack. And red to yellow? Red to yellow, you're a dead fellow. That's exactly right, isn't that right, Paul? Is that that's, right, sir? That's right. And if you stick a bayonet in their chest, you can slowly watch the life leave their eyes. Exactly. What did he say up there, Pa? Uh, they said we're almost there, so be careful back there. Don't be falling out the back like you always do. Okay, I'm not falling Take out the, the reins. Oh. All right, then. Uh, enjoying the view. Okay. Come on, horses. Get a get a move on. Come on now. Yeah. Now I don't want you remember your remember when we do these tours, Derlin, I don't want you jumping over the fire. No, I don't want no you doing none of that fire. stuff. You're always trying to do those tricks and try to impress people. You don't need to be what? doing all that. One time I'll show you, I was thinking of a new trick that I could use to impress the people that we take on the tour. I thought, what if I what if I what if they watched as I swallowed a hundred bottle caps? Well, my survival instincts tell me that might not be the best idea. Oh, um, okay. That could be bad for you because 
What I always tell you, Derlin, whatever goes in must come out. Are you prepared to take that head on? Well, I think. Yeah, that might not. I might not like that to have that coming out. Uh, to have to be. I might not. Yeah, no, I think I'll not. I won't do it. But I'll, I could tell them that I could do it. I'll, I'll say, guess what? I bet I could even eat a hundred bottle caps. You know? I'm not doubting you, boy, but it's gonna be a uh, real painful coming out. Hey, Paul, you remember when I, you caught me and I was trying to, I was trying to drink all the liquid out of the spittoon and you take me to the bar? Paul, hey, Paul, you remember that? You're a disappointment to me and your mother. We're on our way, Derlin. Hang tight back there, buddy. Are we gonna get a snack when we're there? Cause I'm getting a little bit peckish. Yeah, well, uh, we'll be able to get you some snackies. Okay, that sounds real good to me, Pa. Hey, Darlin. Yeah. You've been practicing your knot tying. I, I was practicing. I was practicing my knot tying. I was trying to do the triple loop, the triple decker loop, the triple, the mini out, the 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 Minnesota, the mini, the ministry the north presbyterian triple well loop. did you work on the one i told you last night the heavy sleeper knot which one was that it's the it's the one you were getting so frustrated with you wanted to you wanted to give up oh you know i'm not gonna lie pa i think it probably took me about an hour to figure that one out right well keep, work, keep for working an, on an it an hour just wondering why isn't it working why is it this not working? This not, this not was supposed to be working an hour ago. Well, but it's not working well, at all. I don't keep, understand. Well, keep working on it or else you'll lose the respect of your peers and your family. Well, what else is new, Pa? <laughs> Mr. Fred still refers to me as Mr. Pussy. Well, you know, what goes around... Oh, easy, easy. Here we go. I'd say this might be a better spot to park more than any, boys. Uh, this looks like a fine spot to eat, Pa. Excellent, oh, excellent horse carriage, sir. Now we're going into town. Let me check you here, Derlin. You got all your bells and whistles tied up right here. Bells. I got all my bells and whistles, sir. My buttons are done up. My tie is tied. My hat is on tight. My hair has been combed, and my boots are laced and polished. Uh. And, uh, and ready. I see a critical error here. Pa, do you what, see it? What's the crit? What? What's the critical error? Oh no! Oh God! Hold well, on. I see it. I see it. Your canteen. It looks what? empty. Oh, I only, it's only empty because I drank it on the on the way, sir, on the road. What are you doing, drinking all your canteen water? We're not even out on the trail yet. Oh, I, thought I got scared because I thought maybe if we did got, if we saw some nature along the way to Valentine, then we would have stopped for water and then I wouldn't have any water. Well, you're lucky we didn't get attacked by a bear out there and needed to camp out in higher ground elevation. So now that we're in town, you're lucky. But that could have been real bad. Ain't that right, Pa? That's right. That's right. You could have been stuck in the middle of nowhere. Drying out like a prune in the sun, and you would have been eaten by coyotes. Could have been it. Could have been it, wanna, Erwin. I don't want to get eaten by coyotes, sir. Good. Now let's get that canteen filled up. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. By that, I mean whiskey. Everyone, <laughs> get some snackies. Some snackies? Okay. <laughs> Force Wayne. Yeah, I kind of like the combo of those two. It's Force Gump if you talk faster. Cause it's got the twang, you know. Fuck it's got here. that twang, but then it's got that. Ah. <laughs> ah. John Wayne. Actually, I'm I like a I like a shitty Kurt Russell mother. a little bit more. Grandpa, look, Mr. Fred, I found some snacks in a bowl. Take them all. He's in oh. great still. Hey, 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 okay. Easy now. I think you're allowed to <laughs> maybe to have one or two. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy there, Derlin. You don't want to upset your belly, Bell. Come on. Remember, Derlin, you're supposed to mix them. 
Remember when I remember when I told you? They're a little hard, Pa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to just throw them all down the hatch like that. Now, remember when I told you about Gorp? You remember what about Gorp? Gorp? What? No, I don't. Rec I don't remember about Gorp. What is about Gorp? Good old raisins and peanuts. Gentlemen, you're an off loud. Can you just uh, keep your voice down a little bit? We hear you out front. Sorry about that, friend. We're just, uh, you know, feeling the wilderness spirit. That's all. No, that's fine. That is all right. Just, uh, very loud for an old coot. All right. Well, I'll keep my volume down to a reasonable speaking level. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank oh, you, gentlemen. Is he is he one of the guys that sells the snake oil? Oh, I don't know, Durlin. Why don't you start acting like, you know, I told you and be polite and ask the man yourself. Real polite like. Okay. Sir, are you a criminal? No, sir. I, I, Jesus okay. fucking Christ. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to teach it's my boy fine. here how to it's talk fine. to people like a man. I was just wondering, because then guess what happened? This one time I read this book that was written in 1861 by this guy named Philip Mouth of Farts, and he said that sometimes if you're going through a city, you can find someone who is even has done bad things, and what they do is they'll, sometimes they'll take you, and they'll, they'll well, they wear really fancy clothes, and they drive around with a carriage, and when you go in the back of it, they, t they try to tell you that you need something even though you don't really need it, then you try to buy it, and then you drink it, and it just turns out to be something like horse pee. Darlin, yeah, make me. sure you breathe there, little guy, you know, keep, keep breathing, all right? I'm sorry about that, gentlemen. Uh, he's working on his, uh, we're trying to get him a badge on how to be polite and talk to strangers. No, that is quite all right. What it helps to Dur right. Durlin, why don't you start this over? You haven't lost the fight yet. Why don't you introduce okay. yourself first? Okay. Uh, hello there, sirs. My name is... Darlin Dewberry. I am a woodsman of America in training, and I know everything there is to know about nature. It is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, how do you do, sirs? I'm good. Yourself? Uh, decent, I think. Do you I'm pee on each other? Spectacularly. I, no. um, what? D what? I, uh, Darlin, my... d d what he means is uh, he's learning so many, gosh darn, uh, nature wilderness tips and survivals from uh his paw that's me and uh my paw that's my 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 paw and he's, he's got them all jumbled in his head a lot of facts come out of durlin real fast here D durlin just bring it on back now did you know that a single termite could eat up to 400 pounds a day did you know that in saint denise you could get mugged by anyone we'll see where's saint denny's i'm gonna punch this you know war as hell <laughs> He's gonna punch me. Why? Uh, Derlin, uh, just, just let's just. These men might be dangerous, you know. I told okay. you, you gotta watch out. Just give them okay. a, give them a nice headily do, and we'll be okay. on out of this bar. We don't need any trouble. Maybe they okay. saw you eat the peanuts. We don't know. Okay, uh, headily do. We're just gonna carry on our way into the woods. So I wouldn't eat that unless uh, you have a good stomach. Uh, well, uh, we'll be fine. We're just gonna get back to our nature business. We don't mean no problems there, boyos. No, that's fine. We'll be on oh, our way. Right. Come on, nice Durlin. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, Pa. Gentlemen, if you do seek the snake oil, there is a woman working as a banter bartender here by the name of Lavinia, I believe. She paddles some of the alchemic substances. Snake oil, huh? Snake, snake oil. Sometimes, sometimes my pa tells me that I shouldn't make too much of my own snake oil. He says that if I pull on my snake too long, then I'll go blind. Yeah, Derlin gets quite creative with his own oil. Uh, what does this snake oil do? I do not know. I have not had the chance to taste her creations. The, she did give me an ointment for my bruised legs, though, and it worked quite spectacularly. Oh, okay. Well, I was wondering if it was perhaps some sort of safety measure. Perhaps it could be used to start fires or put them out, or is it some sort of wilderness oil, a survival oil? Uh, but I, I don't drink much myself. Yeah, we're not big oil drinkers. But sometimes my dad drinks his own pee, though, if we're out in the, in the woods for a long time. I see. Well, you might want to ask her yourself. And he said that was the barkeep? Yes, I believe she will work 
uh, come to work in about an hour or so. That's well, where she usually shows up. Well, all right. I guess next time we're around, we'll check in on the bar dog. Uh, we should probably find our uh, our bar and our sometimes, grandpa here. I don't know where he, he went. Sometimes he gets a little bit confused. Of course, not a problem. And should you come up with your own recipes, I would always be interested in those. Our own oil? Our own oil? You want or my any other oil? tinctures. Okay. Pa, I think he wants me to give him my snake oil. Uh, um... I've been putting it in jars and sorting it by color. Durlin here has been working on his own. He's been working on tying his knots. I'm trying to teach the boy how to be a man and how to survive the wilderness. I see. So, uh, uh, I am always interested in any and all potions, mixtures, and tinctures. Well, oh. I, I don't... I don't... Uh, well, it, is that man hey, okay man, just, in the street? I think I'll go check on a pot. Um, we will uh, be sure to check in on uh, your your oil. Uh, w I, I, I got to check in on my boy here. He yeah, looks no like problem. he might be getting go in right trouble. Ahead. We'll check in. What's your name, pal? My name's Frank Dewberry. I'm out here doing wilderness tours. Ah, pleasure to meet you. I am Desmus Dorillo for Dan Runville Pickard Armand John Kinder the second. Well, all right, we'll I'm be around, for, and we'll, we'll we'll make sure to uh, make some noise next time we see. Uh, uh, oh, it's a pl been a pleasure. What is it, Durlin? I'm gonna look for, gonna look for Grandpa up this way. Look for him in the hotel, baby. I saw some ladies that uh, went oh. in there. Oh no, maybe he's trying to get a bath again. Oh, I can't. excuse me. Hello, is anybody even working here? Hey, Paul, oh, were you trying to get one of those massages again? No, I was going to get one. I wouldn't be in this town. Look, customer, here, do your thing. Do that thing you do where you be a pussy and try to make money. Evening, sir. How do you do? Hello. How do you how how do you do, sir? Paul, oh, I think this one's a mute. What are you doing? Lead me astray. Were you talking to him? He was talking to me. He's not talking to me right now. Hey! Hey, push it! Uh, yeah, he might have been a bit flustered there. I don't know. Maybe you upset him, Paul. Oh. <laughs> no, he's not are you sure he was talking to you? Did you find anybody who wants to become a woodsman of America yet? Um, no, but I, I was trying to find uh, a Durlin. A man was trying to get oil from some snake oil. I don't know. Look, he's running. Durlin! Durlin! Pa? Durlin? Oh, there you are. What are you doing? What happened? Are you all right? Yeah, I was just looking for Grandpa. For, I was looking for Mr. Fred, sir. That's all. And then I, and now I found him, and then he, here we are. Well, all right. Uh, so far, we went into the saloon there, and they were uh, offering us snake oil, Pa. That's all. Where did you go? Where did you go off to, Mr. Fred? I was looking for breakfast, and I couldn't find it. And I found that little pussy over there. Uh, he was going to be a customer, but then you scared him with your well, uh, maybe we can just start off a little bit slower, a little bit easier. We're not demanding much. We're just trying to get Durlin some experience out in the wilderness. Maybe we'll yes, offer sir. something on the discounted side, and we'll get people out there and enjoy the view. Get a, maybe a nice hiking trip going, huh? Hey, you! You! You look like you crave adventure. Well, I crave a lot of things. Maybe eventually one of them. I don't know. Don't can't. You don't look like you could one. put down some good old gorp. Good old <laughs> raisins and peanuts on a dusty trail with a beautiful mountainside view at the end. How, how do you think you know me? You don't know me. None of you do. Because I'm you're right. covered in dirt and you look like a cowboy. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need to take him to the mountain after all, Pa, because he seems like he's already so edgy. Well, Dorlin, why don't you go up to him, recite the creed, and show him your your scouting ways? 
Okay. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Winsman of America. The woods are my home. Winsman of America. Now leave me alone. Uh, my name is Darlin Dewberry, and I am a Woodsman of America in training, and I was wondering if you would like to come on a once-in-a-lifetime trip where you can learn all sorts of things about Oh, easy about now, Darlin. Traffic in here. Various, oh, I'm almost done. In various birds and, and trees and plants, and then you and then you can even look at them, and you'll remember them, and you'll learn so much, and you'll come back, and everyone will say, wow, what a large, what big mind you have. Oh. Okay, uh, no, let, let me get this straight. You want to take me up on a trip? You want me to learn about birds and bees, plants and trees, all this matter of stuff, wildlife and all that junk? That's exactly precisely. right. Precisely. That is precisely right. Now, is anyone here skilled at medicine? I believe the gentleman there collapsed. Oh, we were talking to that that fellow over there, and then he just sort of killed over. Paul, uh, what did he say to you? <laughs> Some flapping pussy sounds out of his mouth. I wasn't paying attention. He was Not flapping much, pussy but... pussy sounds out of his mouth. I see. Well, perhaps he decided he deserved to die then. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, um, but yeah, as we were saying before we were interrupted, we are doing nature tours for those interested, partner. What do you think? Well, you can get some Gorp India. Some, what, what, okay, what is this Gorp again? Get some Gorp, you put it in your, in your tub tub. Wait a second. Uh, how much? Because uh, I need to get the hell out of this town. <laughs> I walk down the street for like two seconds and I get mud and shit all over myself. I need to get the hell out of here. Sounds like we might have a potential adventurer. Are you looking for a wilderness challenge? Survival amongst friends? Look, as long as I get the hell out of this town, it, it's whatever. Well, I think we got ourselves a customer. Let me just get my clipboard out here. I think I uh, you can count me in, too. I guess you might need my <laughs> assistance in case. I'm back. Well, I'm uh, not bears. too sure, sir. Oh. You've, been, you've been nothing but a sourpuss this whole time. Oh. Are you gonna, Are you going to be a sourpuss the whole way? Easy now, Derlin. Don't scare them off. Now we need customers. Well, just... No freeloaders. You just have to pay the fee. got to pay for the fee. Oh, All right. Uh, Ma'am, what's your oh, name there? Which one's the name's Shelly. Yeah, All right, Shelly, last name. Gentlemen, for Christ's <laughs> sake, keep your fucking Jeez. voice down. I can hear you in the bar. These are men of steel and vigorous virtue. You shut your mouth, okay? And why don't you stop with your swearing, sir? No one needs to curse out here, you sweary Mary. Yeah, watch your profanity, stupid. You swear shut the goose. fuck up, you hard hat looking motherfuckers. First of all, I'm bored. I don't have a hat. Oh. I mean, absolutely fucking now, nothing. Now you can see why so I please, want to So please, in the politest way possible, shut the fuck up or go down the street. To the wagon. Well, we, we don't need the no trouble. Let's all Let's go. go to the oh, wagon. The those folks addicted to the cocaine gum. We should get out of here. Better keep your voice down, Derlin. Don't need any trouble. <laughs> oh, I don't want any trouble. He sounds like a rough sword. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here. So we had three potential customers. The angry man yelled at us, and now we got one potential customer. We're down to one. Am I the only one? Uh, yeah. So long as you're still alive, partner. Last time I talked to you, you were dead on the ground. So I've got a question. Which one's a medium pussy and which one's a small pussy? Old man told me about. What? He said there was a medium pussy and a small pussy. Which one's a medium pussy? Which one's a small pussy? Medium pussy. Small pussy. Okay. That's me. It's nice to meet you, small pussy. Hello. It is nice to meet you, small pussy, as well. I am not a pussy and I am not Ouch. small, okay? Small oh, pussy. Jesus. I mean, you're pretty much the same, you're you're same size now, as me. Soon. Yeah. You will be up to your cock and wildlife knowledge and education. That's you know, fly hard. around town with hair on your peaches, and everyone will respect you as a man of the woods. I look forward to it. Grandpa says he's going to gonna put hair on my plums. He's going to put hair on his apricots. What's nice your name, name and rank? 
My name and rank, um, I'm Slimy Valentino Valentine, Prince of Valentine. This is my kingdom. What's your name? The name's Shelly. Shelly? Right. Okay, so we got Shelly and I'm sorry, what was it, partner, your name there? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, Slimy Valentino Slimy? Valentine, Prince of Valentine. Slimy? Yeah, that's me. Okay, Slimy and Shelly. All right, looks like we got ourselves a full-on group here. Now, um, let me check my clipboard yet again. Sorry, I was in the middle of getting your name there, Shelly, before we were as interrupted. Yeah, it happens around here. Nothing okay. but pigs and shit. Now, excuse me. Met the pigs. <laughs> uh, so are you both well aware that this trail will be very dangerous? A lot of snakes, Very bears, dangerous. wolves, bears. One time Derlin went astray into a puddle, was covered in leeches. Had to use I... the lantern to burn them all off. You insult me. I'm a man on a journey, and I wish to become a better man than I was yesterday when I was burned alive. Okay? This trial can't be any worse than what I've already suffered. I'll believe it. Everyone thinks that until they're out there in nature and there's all sorts of creepy crawlies lurking around and there's lurches and sometimes there's angry owl birds that swoop down and I heard that you you know how you know an owl because they go like this they sound like this that sounds like a that sounds like a donkey in heat. I taught him that That's one. That owl bird makes. I taught him that one. Good on you, Darlin. You're getting good at that one. Where did Grandpa go? Oh, uh, I think he went in the saloon of the outhouse to go take a piss. Okay. So, Shelly, Slimy. Uh, Shelly, okay, so Slimy's big, tough fella. He's not afraid. Shelly, are, afraid are you afraid? Do you have Fairless. any aversion uh, to bears, leeches, snakes, rabbit, deer? No, I I got an aversion to like dirt and shit, getting all over myself just from walking down the street. Okay, well, we can avoid the dirty paths, but there will be dust. I can't There's stop dust. the dust. Yep. You gotta be ready if you wanna if you wanna take part in an adventure with the Woodsman of America, then you need to be ready because sometimes I'll even get a bit of dust. One time I even got a little bit of dust inside my beepus. What the fuck is a beepus? Anyways, Paul, what else could they expect? Ah, uh, you can expect Whoa. a lot of treacherous switchbacks, a lot of steep climate. We're going to be lots of climbing here, so uh, proper footwear is always recommended. We recommend people with weak ankles to get something that's a little bit more full coverage on the ankle there. How are you guys Perfect doing on footwear? My feet are... I I'm going to go purchase some boots. Okay, that would be recommended for the trip. Also, don't forget to get yourself some gorp. What's gorp? Good old raisins <laughs> and peanuts. Raisins and peanuts. Raisins and... Okay. What I'm going to keep you going on the road. You got to get what? some fuel in ya. It's got everything the growing body needs. It's full of different nutrients, like, like smaller parts of peanuts, and also the vitamins that come from raisins exactly what about beepus what about it what is what's beepus yes what is it who said that uh, no one said it small this guy pussy. said it small no, pussy said, said be, small pussy said beepus okay no he said it i did say that paul he said it to me said, uh, listen said, and I, I don't know what is that? that is i ain't quite is too that something sure i should be writing down or something no, you guys are with, you're in good company. We'll be taking good care of you. You guys can slack pack. We'll carry the packs. We got the wagon. We got everything you need for adventure. Now, he said, he said, you're beepers, which means I have a beepers. I want to know what this beepers is, okay? No, no, I Do didn't say that. Duralyn, well, yeah, Yes, Pa? Are you still working on your truth badge, aren't you? Did yes, you pa. say beepers? That I sounds said, like a Durlin fib. I said that one time they were so dusty on the trail that I even got a little bit of dust in my beepus and it hurt. 
Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Sometimes Durlin, he's making up his own hiking lingo while we're out here. He gets a little dirt down his down his pantaloons, and next thing you know, he's got a new lingo for it. He's got quite the imagination. Well, I'm going to be I the best woodsman ever. I don't, I don't actually know if Does you have a beepus. Your father have a beepus? Listen, partner, I don't know. My boy here's got an imagination. It runs wild, all right? Now, so long as you got your breeches on correctly, you're not going to get any dirt down there. That's Why? right. Beepers his arm. Is this man talking about male genitalia? Sure, partner, if you want it spelled out all the way. Jesus yes, Christ. the boy's got an imagination. He's growing. He's going through those phases in life. Now, come on. One time, Excuse I accidentally me, glued a tree branch to it what? when I was trying to build a bottle. You're excused. We are the beepers woodsmen, okay? Emphasis on the men. You don't have a beepers, so you shouldn't be here. Uh, yeah, go take a bath. I'll have you know that all that matters about being a woodsman of America is what's inside your heart. Because the, you'll find that the real forest is the one that grows inside your soul. And that's the one that we try to explore here at the Woodsman of America with my pa and my grandpa. Exactly right. Well, Can way I make to bring it all this? back home to what's important. Way to bring that's it right. in. That's my boy. That's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> now, what Wait. were you saying, Slimy? Are you ready? I am ready. I need to wash up and get these uh, things you told me to get. Am I going to make money from this? Because this is an investment for me right now. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. And uh, we plan to leave in about, uh, I'll give you uh, three minutes. Three All minutes. Right. So get okay. to it. Go what on. if I get more people, huh? I could do it. I've got away with my words. Okay, well, maybe we'll work in some kind of bundle deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Get to it. What do you think, Pa? Where the hell did Grandpa go? Oh, Grandpa. Uh, gra oh, he fell Grandpa? asleep again. Grandpa. 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 Come on, Pa. What are you Grandpa. doing? We was looking for you, huh? and you come running back and you Grandpa. fall down. Did you, was it because your tub tub was not feeling good after all the gorp you were eating? Sure. You know, I was watching my watch here, Pa. It took you quite some time to come on back. We got some customers. Ain't you proud? I'll be proud as soon as we actually get this done. Don't let me down. Pa, well, did you want me to run? Down. Did you want me to run back to the saloon and get your back get your backpack for you? I could put mine on the on the oh. What well, we yeah, we're going. You just slow, just hold on and wait for the other, for the people to show up to go on the trip. Exactly. Gosh, good to hear. I'm glad we're all ready to go. No, excuse me, I'm gonna go take a piss. All right, Pa. Don't, don't take too long now. It's always taking too long. The doctor said it's because he has that a large protractor. Yeah, well. We'll hopefully he takes good we gotta take good care of Pa because Pa took good care of us. Yeah, hey, uh, listen, how much do I owe you to get the hell out of here? A hundred dollars. Hunting bears. Jesus. Yeah, uh, not not a hundred dollars. Um, I was just trying to I was just trying to bargain, Pa. Well, sorry. well uh, he's trying to work on his bargain badge, but uh around here, you know, the, the we are the first woodsmen of America trying to educate the people about what's out there and how to deal with the sticky situation that is wilderness. My pa over there's uh he loves to negotiate the prices if you wish to barter. Um he's been working on our, our standards and our our, our, our price is here, but I promise you, we are able to work with any sort of budget. Well, listen, I got like $27 on me. Well, that might be the exact price. You never know. Pa is quite good at negotiating prices. Ain't that right, Darlin? That's exactly right. One time, he convinced the man to give him an entire shed for a tooth, for, 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 a, 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 for, a, for a golden tooth that he found. Can you believe that? A golden tooth. A no. golden tooth Can for you a whole believe house. That? Can you believe that? Can you believe that's it? A, Can you believe that? 
No, I, uh, not really. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So he's pretty good. Um, I'm not he knows what he's sure. doing. Uh, someone told me to come over here because they needed to speak with people in town, and I'm just waiting for this hey. uh, this gentleman hey, over here to hey, finish you, his business. Do you hear that man talking? Maybe I should go scream at him to keep his voice down. Yeah, I was just thinking yeah, that, seems, actually. Seems like I'm the gonna custom. Go, yeah. I'm going to go scream at him really, really angrily. Hold on. Uh, just uh, be careful. Oh, dear. Uh, this man's going to get beat up. My grandpa? Yeah, I need to speak to him. Uh, I mean, he's speaking to, he's taking... he to speak to all of us. It, it, no, no, do not I'll interrupt him. Oldie. That's fine. That's fine. Do not interrupt him midstream. Oh, I can it's... speak to you two. Come, come with me a second. No, what do you mean come with me? Uh, uh, wait, wait, looks wait, a little wait, weird. He wants wait, to go over to the forest. What happens if he's like that? What happens if he's like that? John the Ripper guy from St. Denny's. Now just easy, man, no, Thurlin. Just... just don't be talking too loud no, or you'll upset little... them. They got I just wanted to give them a heads keep, up on I'm something. I'm trying to keep all. my voice down. All right. Just keep it down. All right, okay. All right. Okay, Pa. The guy who asked me to come over here and join you um, I just want to give you a heads up about him. He's most likely going to rob you when you get out into the middle of nowhere. Who's who was it? Which one? Slimy. slimy. Of course it was slimy. Slimy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he? I've did only he... had um, a brief meeting with him, and he convinced another man that I had cholera and basically to abandon what? me in armadillo. He's not Are a. You serious? He's Is not that a what very he said? Uh, insane guy. Okay, oh. so we might Holy have shit. a bad egg on our yeah, squad I knew he today. Yeah, snake, but I didn't realize you just. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Slimy's dad. Trying to threaten me with fucking killing me. Well, see. I shit. guess we'll... now you're gonna like have to pay for him. Like you before. You're gonna have to pay for him too, as he was already a customer. <laughs> what the hell was that? Man no. with the gun, huh? What was that? I don't fucking know. Good on you for sticking up for yourself, Shelly. Uh, hold on. Hold on. That's oh, right. Good up. for you for sticking it to him. Uh, yeah, God. that's the uh, the warning I was trying to give you. God dang, anyway. it's really coming down, boys. It is. Pa, I'm getting all wet. Why? My, my sleeping blanket is I'm getting wet. Show in here. here, let's get in the wagon and reco, boys. Wagon meeting. Wagon meeting. Now ain't that better? We'll have a we'll have a dewberry meeting. Everybody in the middle. Okay. He's up, boys. Okay, I'll yeah, put my backpack sure down. Maybe so now, I don't know Slime about you guys, sure. but uh, watching that there uh, that Slimy paw, I don't know if you saw that, but Slimy apparently was a bad egg, and he tried to he tried to take the life away right out of Shelly, but she Where gave is, him what for? Him. That's body. right. I saw it. I saw it, Grandpa. I mean, Sir Fred, Sir. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, all right, we'll wait for the starting to subside. Now we we'll get into it. We'll take some people on an adventure we'll never forget. Okay. We'll make those pussies into men. Okay, well, I'd say the storm, by the look of the storm, listening to the sounds of the thunder and when the lightning strikes and how far away it is, it sounds like it might be approximately about five minutes away. So, five I minutes it, might be good I enough time to talk I to think people. it might be. I think it might be more like 15, Pa. Not that I need to tell you your business. Oh, wow, Darlin, you've been really listening to lightning and thunder and doing them calculations, huh? Yes, sir, I sure have. I've been counting when the lightning hits and then I count Mississippi's until I hear the boom. And I think that the storm's probably going to be the worst in 15 minutes. Maybe oh, like 14 right. minutes now. And then it'll be all better after that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that they made it. So it seems like it's five, but then there's other storms out there and they yeah. roll out here. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Always be ready! Oh, Always be ready! Always be ready! Oh, quit crying. You're pushing us enough water in the air right now. <laughs> okay. Well, should we see if we can find any other little buckaroos who want to come on our adventure? Good idea. Let's, That's why you're let's the smarter it. one of you two. Oh, man, you're that pop smarter than you. Just keep working on your your, your survival skills there, boy. Okay, It'll be pa. fun. That's all I know. 
Look, uh, I'll give you 20 bucks if you get me the hell out of town as soon as possible. 20 bucks for the woodsman? Okay, well. Deal. What a deal. I told you that guy was shady. Oh, excellent. Well, give me the $20. Here, I'll yeah, I hate to see you there. Wait, oh, wait, what's... I don't actually know what's going on here, though. He just sent me over here. Uh, thank you, voice, for helping us out with uh, Slimy there. Uh, it really, no, uh, he, he we was didn't really he, do anything. But no, okay. we, we were just there making sure he didn't hurt you. He was fixing to shoot you. Let's go. We got three dollars. Get him out of town. So, uh, All right. Did you hear what Grandpa said? He said we got. Shoot your elbows. Nice throw. 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 Is this neat? <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, I've seen better. <laughs> you all be safe. We'll be right back. All right. I'll take the reins there. So, what did you say your name was, Skyler? Okay. Yeah. Good talk. Sorry. I, Are you both being quiet back second. there or not talking at all? Sorry, sorry. My my ears went out for a second. I get this thing. They ring. Uh, let's he see. said your name was Skyler. I need a cigarette. It's Mark. Shelly. Shelly. My name shit. is Darling. How old are you? Oh, that's cute. Uh, I'm I'm 28. It is nice to meet you. Do you know how to tie dots? Um, just like normal ones. I know how to tell, I know how to tie all kinds of knots. I used, I tied them because what happened was my grandpa showed my my pa and my pa showed me and now I'm learning how to tie all kinds of knots. Can you tie? Can you can you tie a, tri a triple triple decker West Presbyterian knot? Uh, no, I, I I have no idea what kind of knot that is. Yeah, I can tie it. I I have I tie it all the time. Um, uh, pa, what does, what does you it think like? we could do it? Oh. Easily, yeah, fucking push the car across the bridge. I don't know, Pa. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Do it, you pussy. Come on, uh, Pa. You can do it. I don't know. Wins been out of America. Really Remember? gotta thread the needle here. Come on, horsies, think thin. Easy does it now. What's the up? horsies are scared. Is this safe? Yeah, it's safe. Yep. If Come my on. Pa's doing it, you can be sure it's safe. Come on, horsies. Do it. Come on. Uh, it. Come on, horsey. Come on, horse. Right Come on. on through. <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. Um, just gotta pump it. Thanks again, guys, for being here. Morning to you. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. <laughs> Server reset, boy. I like this music, man. I'm digging it. I got stuff from Looney Tunes. I got stuff from <laughs> fucking, let's say I did Looney Tunes. You know what else had good music for this? It was uh, Broken Age. And uh, let me kill this real quick. Broken Age had really good. I wanted like soft, whimsically, bouncily, kind of funny, cartoony stuff. Because these characters are so different, man. Psychonauts. That's what it was. Psychonauts, Broken Age, Looney Tunes for PlayStation 2, Simpsons a Simpsons game. Pops coming in with the tier three. Got whoa. Smoo Man, Cup Boy, Nauticus, Sweet Chili Vials, Lurky Gertie. Thank you guys so much. Jarby, thank you, dude. Sorry again for being late. Sucks, but I don't know. What can you do other than get the fuck up and get get in there, boy? Happens. I'll make it up to you. You know I'm good for it. I never played hit, uh, Broken Age. Shit happens. Yeah, you got that right. You got that right. How do you get past that? I don't know what to say when role playing. Shit, you better say something, dude. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of, what kind of uh, advice is that? You better fucking think of something. Um, 
I don't know what not to say. I feel like you gotta really focus on yes anding the person. Like, yeah, Pops just said it. Yes and. Jarby, thank you, dude. Um. Fuck, I'm always so bad at jumping back into this goddamn server. Let's see here. Start rambling. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of, uh, trying to think of where do you want to take the scene. You kind of feel it. I start to feel out when things get stale. I kind of want to move forward or get to a goal. Uh, having a little quest log written to your, like, if you have a little post-it note or a little sticky note off to the side, and just make yourself, like, a quest log. Like, things you'd like to do within your session of roleplay. Go hunting, try gold panning. Bring someone along with you, type shit like that. Um, so we wait five minutes and try to rejoin. Always forget how server reset works. Um, turn your volume down. What? It was, um... Holy shit, did you know gaming? What up, boys? Thank you for the, the raid. How you guys doing? Hope you're alright. Always love you guys' videos, man. Thanks again. Did you know gaming, ladies and gentlemen? Is my uh, microphone alright in game and stuff? I heard you guys... I don't know if you're talking shit on like the other people we were coming across tonight, or if it was me, but I haven't changed anything in my mic setting, so I figured it was not me. But if there's anything I'm doing and it's weird on the other end, let me know. Um, Yo, thank you for the, uh, the big one there, band one. Stay safe. Love you all. Best community ever. <laughs> Let's listen to some of this track. I love this song for when shit goes absolutely bonkers. Which one's this? Look at this. Yeah. Oh no, grab the reins. We're going off a cliff. How good is that? Some good shit. Fresh Bandicoot, yeah. Fresh Bandicoot. Just giving this thing a second. They gotta grab the they gotta take the server and unplug it and plug it back in so it stops getting all weird. But uh Did I get the things? Uh, no, I didn't even get a chance to click that thing, Pops. Do I need to click it now? Is it important? Uh, let's see here. Looks like the server's having a hard time. Uh, it'll probably take a little bit more time than usual to get this one reset. What's happening? Yeah, we're doing a server reset. A little reset and we're back just a little reset and we're back and before you know it we'll be at the top of a summit just taking in the beauty of nature beautiful beautiful nature I hope you're all well hope you're all well staying safe in these crazy crazy times beautiful to have a community to wake up to right on time to kind of have a little place to laugh and giggle just like the old times laughing and giggling remember laughing and giggling at bars and shit do you remember This is very Willy Wonka, isn't it? I love this track. If you want to view paradise. I remember. I remember. Oh, I remember. Want to view paradise. Simply look around and view it. 
want to change the world, then do it. Copyright free version. <laughs> Nothing to it. What's this from? I think it's Simpsons video game shit. Um, I had a tweet. I made a tweet. I'll repost the tweet because it looks like I didn't even press tweet. View it. Want to change the world? Nothing to it. <laughs> Holy shit. Some gifted subs coming on in. Clever. Yo, Clev, how you doing, man? Thank you very much, dude. Okay, looks like we're trying to get in. Looks like we're trying to get in. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, which one, boys? Server two, we're switching. Server two, trying. Trying server two. Uh, after you talk to the guy at the office chairs, um, you bought one with the headrest. I don't know about the headrest. I always wonder about the headrest on the mesh chairs, Lenny. Um, let's see here. Well, that song just straight up ends doesn't it a lot of good stuff here for when louis comes back on the show huh listen to this so one time i was when i was in high school i was hanging out and it was crazy and i didn't know what's happening and it was crazy that's weird i joined the server but oh maybe it's working server two i'm in I think. Loading up. I don't know why I just hear the stamina sound going off like crazy. Alright, let's see here. Let me know how that headrest works out, Lenny, because I don't really feel like I need one with this chair, but... Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? What happened? Ah! Ah! I've lost my mind! I'm not even thinking about moving, and yet I'm moving! Ah! ah. Why am I moving? I don't want to run, but I'm running! <laughs> Stop fucking running. <laughs> There's this weird glitch when you pop in sometimes. It doesn't... Wolves? Where? I don't see any fucking wolves, chat. Don't you fucking bait me, dude. Don't you fucking bait me, dude. I'm quick, dude. Also, you guys were absolutely right about that scroll up thing. I never knew about this. Ha! 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 I was debating making this guy sound like Hank Hill, but I figured that would be too too annoying. I like the John Wang kind of. John, John Wang. <laughs> slash, um... Forrest Gump we got going. Thank you again, Clever. Uh, five Cats in Trench Coat. McGruff, you member. Thank you, dude. Band One. Thank you guys very much. Smirky. Gay for Gamer Girl. What's up, girl? 17 months. <coughs> John Twang. Yeah, John Twang. That's the voice I'm going for. Uh, need to pick up my backpack here. My backpack. There we go. So you can't see all the clipping in my shirt. Um, now, where the hell am I? Okay, we're right, right by the river here. I wonder if the uh, guys will spawn here. But let's, uh... Let's use my cheat codes. Uh, he has a jaw? Yeah, I wanted to give him a real strong chin. Almost like a chin that would be like... Peter. Eisma. Eisma. Peter, but more John Wang, but then add twang, so it's like John Twang. Um, I had his chin out further, 
and I knew it was too much. I showed Classy, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucked up how big that chin is. So I was like, yeah, I'll dial it down a little bit. I had it sticking out further than his nose. Like, his nose would be the, his chin would be the first thing to touch a wall if he walked straight into a wall. Let me use my cheat codes. Don't look, guys. All right, you can look now. This gives me wolf immunity on the server. It's power gaming, but just don't let them know. Crimson Chin. I know the guys would... Am I... I'm not instanced, am I? No, but the guys aren't in here. Okay, S3. We get a relog. We get a relog. We've got to relog, boys. Got to disconnect. Bada bing, bada boom. S3, S3. Switching it up. Reptile drop bits. A fun bit of nature advice. If bitten by a venomous snake in North America, you actually should not apply tourniquet because it would almost guarantee the limb will need to be amputated. Just keep it elevated. Minimize panic. Get to the nearest medic. Thank you. I'll use some of that for something, dude. It's in the noggin. It can't escape now. There is no escape. This one, relaxing harmonica. Yeah, everybody wants to suck the venom out, huh? That's everyone's first instinct. People just want to put their mouths on something. People just want to help, dude. Okay, um... Authenticating... Authenticating, then heading back to Valentine. Got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do, boys. Snakes aren't like bees. No, oh, yeah, it's bee stings everyone's always wanting to put their mouths on. Oh, wait, is that jellyfish? No, I'm pretty sure it's snake bites. Either way, you suck the venom out of anything. You suck hard enough, chat. Look at what they did to almonds. They sucked off almonds so hard they fucking made milk out of those things. Imagine sucking on a nut so hard the milk comes out, dude. Of a almond. What do you think they get almond milk? You gotta have some strong lips, boys. Maybe you gotta be a gummer to get that shit going. Sucking almonds so hard. Almond milk? It's more like sweat. It's more like almond sweat. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. 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 Jeez. Bring up, pussy. Oh. oh. Put your clothes on. I'm naked and my face hurts and it all hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah, quick climb, big baby, put your clothes on. We got work to do. Okay, I'm gonna go in a bush, Paul, and I'm gonna put my clothes back on. Watch my back. It's proper. It's always proper to go in a bush to change. That's where it loaded him in butt ass naked, huh? I like going in a bush to change. Shots fired! Shots fired! Is everyone okay? It's just no actor, you pussy. Are you alright? I'm fine, just getting breakfast. Oh. Uh okay. Let's go. Let's go find your sneak up poof son. Uh, what'd you what'd you what'd you get there, Pa? It's a raccoon. Here. Good shot. Carry it. Oh. Oh, nice. I'll carry it. I'll take good care of it, too. Okay. Let's go find your son, who's half your size, but twice the man you are. 
Okay, hopefully uh, the storm didn't upset him too much. He usually runs away. Usually he likes to run and hide and find cover. I knew he was off on his calculations there, by the way. I had a feeling. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing my best, Paul. Your best is not good enough. Your best is still a great disappointment. But, Paul, didn't we get the $20? I got the $20. Well, you just turn around like an income pool. I got the $20. Well, well, I also worked with the local townsfolk to find out that Slimy was an unsavory character and he was actually trying to kill us. Oh, that's just a good job there, pussy. That's not what we do. We're white men. I just have to tell us this to be a hooligan. Yes, Paul. Good. It's <laughs> fucking Santa Claus. It's fucking uh, Pete all over again, dude. I love the character. So where are we going today? I don't know. We can uh, pick a. Uh, we can we can just head on out in any sort of direction. Maybe just go north of Valentine. I was thinking there's mountains up there. We can we can shell them a little bit of some trees, some moss, some scat, some uh, show them some tips and tricks. Sounds good. All right. You're you're in charge now. So you just your best judgment. I'll only, I'll only barge in every time you make a fucking mistake. Okay, sounds fair, Pa. So uh, I'll be pretty much talking the whole time, probably. Oh, hello, ma'am. Hello. Thank God you guys showed back up. I feel yeah. like I'm cursed. I can't get the hell out of this town. Yeah, sorry it's about that. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We yeah. just gotta find our nincompoop. I'll be right back. Yeah, he was, he was running around here in the street earlier. Yeah, once we get Durlin, then we're we're back on the trail. Now, just to make sure, Shelly, I got everything you need. All the you got some gorp, you got some shoes, you got some, you got yourself a, a compass, a pocket watch, a clipboard, a lasso, a knife, a lantern. Oh Jesus! Don't worry, we are got you covered. Are we gonna need all that? We got you covered, but it might come out of the price. Here, we'll wait here. Uh, okay. Shouldn't take too long. Pa's real good at finding Durlin. Those two got a bond you, uh, I'll never understand. You got some cigarettes? Oh, uh, no, I, I don't smoke. No. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. But I do have a raccoon. Oh, that... Oh, that you hungry? Disgusting. It's saying to eat a raccoon? Well, yeah, what you do is you rip its asshole right here and then oh yank my... it off. Oh, my God. And you got yourself a healthy oh, little that's... snack. I'll save that one for later. That one will be on the house. Uh, excuse me. It's... <laughs> it's... A lot of people get afraid of eating raccoon skin, but it's fine once you start getting it nice and crispy. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, that's disgusting. You know, God gave us the fine oh. critters to put over a fire and get them nice and crispy for a reason. You stay right here, uh, Schmelly. I'm going to go and talk to the trapper real quick. Hey there, Tom. How you doing? Got a got a raccoon here for you. Oh, I'm scuffed. There you go. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. What you got, Jay? Nice fella. <laughs> right in his fucking face. Fucking domed him. Riptide. Oh my god. All right. That's that's horrible. Durlin, there you yes, are. Pa. Next, yeah. next time the storm gets crazy, don't go panicking and running off. Remember, the first rule of wilderness is to calm down and make a plan. Stay calm and make a fire. Exactly. 
And like I said, when it comes to snake bites, you don't always want to use a tourniquet, okay? You got to be careful. You'll, you'll for sure have to cut that leg off next time if you use a tourniquet, all right? But it turns my leg all sorts of funny colors. <laughs> you got to just let it do its thing and calm down. Now, shall we get going? I'll go get the wagon and we'll get back on the trail. Back on the old dusty trail. All right, now warn warn Schmelly here a little bit more about the dangers of foot. Shelly. Warn Shelly, and we'll we'll be on we'll be on the trail. Jesus. It's the best way to make this not look so janky. We'll do it around here. I like the immersion, you know. I like that immersion. Let's do this. Use my cheat codes. Don't look, chat. Don't look, chat. Up, down, left, right. Full day. There it is. Come on now. There's no reverse on these either. No reverse. All skill. Came up from behind. Rip this bottom jaw from the upper jaw just to get the blueberries. Just to get the blueberries. Because that's what happens that's where there's a bear. So, bear Slimy's back. Uh, just minutes ago, he tried to kill you, uh, Schmelly. So, are we all friends now? or There is that. Wait, wait. Oh, we're, we're all oh, friends God. under the eyes of the Lord. No, I was asking oh, you, you Jesus. weirdo. I, I, I didn't know, feel like getting shot I don't today. know grudges. I hold no grudges. I understand why you did it. You felt threatened by my big posture, okay? I'm a very intimidating man. So it's okay. I don't know. For uh, The second rule of our wilderness tours is do not harm anyone else. And I did see uh, you go for her neck there, Slimy. I don't know how you Wait. justify that. Wait a minute. I did not go for nobody. She cut me. She sliced me over like a, sliced me over like a fillet. Okay, my Damn face straight. is hideous. Durlin, did you see which one started it? I didn't see anything other than, um, than, sh than him laying down in the mud. I think we should defer to Mr. Fred, sir, Pa. Well, Pa, what do you say? Well, look, well, I, you're I don't big boy now. You're the one right. who wanted to lead the great western of America to prove that you're a man. Where are we going, Sonny Jim? Well, we're going on a camping trip up north to the mountains. But we can't have people going for each other's throats. There's enough danger out there as it is. That's right. You're... So, are you two getting along? Or are you two mortal enemies? That I'll depends. apologize if she does. If you apologize. two shake on it, then You're I the suppose we me. can all come along and we can all have a good time. But... Schmelly here already paid up, so she paid. No freeloader. No freeloader. No freeloaders. Oh, I'll cover Mr. Slimy's charge. And who might you be? Oh, I'm Jason Jasonson. I'm an hermano of Mr. Slimy here. Close friends. Close friends. Well, you know what they say, Paul. Close friends usually pay for each other and pay up on time. That no, is you're true. talking about horse. All right, get the money. We'll go. All right, well, you guys can pay up. Uh, what's the fee for the expedition? Hey, Paul, what's the fee for this one? I don't know. I might never. I don't know. Five dollars. Well, uh, Schmelly Five over dollars. here gave a healthy payment of twenty dollars. That seems pretty fair. That seems right. pretty fair to me. Well, sure. Let me just talk to my uh, bank advisor, and I'll be just a moment. All right. Talk to the bank. We'll be right here. Wait, let me ask the old, old man. How much do you want us to pay? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Five dollars. You hear that? He said five. I'm paying five. Sounds to me like he might be making fun of Grandpa, Pa. No, I'm not. He got kicked in the face by a mule. I we make don't, fun of we don't need accident. any more trouble, Slimy. All right. Yeah, made That's your right. point earlier. It's $20. Fair is fair. Okay, fine. $20. Wait, 
I got you, Jason. Jason, Sansa, you said you know bundle deal. Why not both of us thirty dollars? You don't have to pay anything. That's your bundle deal. That's your bundle. Oh, oh, there we go. Jason's going to pay. Well, we'll see what Jason has going. Hey, Jason, how you doing, partner? Howdy, fellas. I've got some money here for you. Who's taking the cash today? I'll take it. I'll go get provisions. We use the money for the trip. That way it goes right back to we the some, We need some for... We need some gorp. Gotta get the gorp. The hell is gorp? What is gorp, darling? Gorp. Gorp hey, is... Mister. One of the best, one of the right, best food buddy. items you can get from uh, the Woodsman of America. And it stands for good old raisins and peanuts. And it has all sorts of different uh, nutrients for the body. And you, when you have it, the gut doesn't go bad. And you put it in your pocket. And then when you're going around, and you go and you see a butterfly, and you're chasing the butterfly, and then you walk and you go. What? We'd better. What happened? We'd better get up here. I don't want to get sick getting in the rain here. Huh. I've got a question. What happens if one of us, you know, breaks our leg? Do we leave them behind? Oh, don't you worry. I've taught Derlin all the proper necessary precautions to a broken bone, to a snake bite, to a bear attack, from a wolf, to a even poison oak. He knows it all. So don't Where's you worry. What? He just wandered off. Sometimes Derlin, his imagination runs wild, and so he literally has to run wild. Well, the nature is a good place to do that. Exactly. So, Schmelly, Slimy, I think both of you said you don't know nothing about nature and wilderness. What about you, Mr. Jason Johnson, Jason? Oh, I'm, I know quite a bit about nature. I'm a farmer by trade and by birth. I'm also a man of the Lord, so all of nature's bounty is the Lord's bounty, and I'm very familiar with I do plenty of farming down south here. And so I'm always, you know, wiggling my toes in the mud and getting all greenery, and it's a good time. Well, hallelujah to that, partner. That's going to be, you're going to be quite an asset on the team. I appreciate you. Amen. I want to ask you a question. What's, as you called her, Schmelly bringing to the table, huh? Other than stabbing people. Oh, my God. She paid $20. That's it? Yeah, what did you pay, Slimy? I'm, he paid twenty dollars. Yeah, but he said I paid twenty dollars. Sure you did. I'll check in with Pa here, and we'll know for sure. Hey, Pa. Listen, boys. Look, let's just get one thing straight. Call me Smelly again, and I, I can't be liable for what happens. Wait. What I can't your call you Smelly, but he can. Sorry, Shelly. It won't happen again. Pa, Definitely did all of these uh, people over here pay up? Yeah, I've already spent their money on provisions. Well, all right. Let's all get in the wagon. <laughs> Derlin, did your imagination make you run wild again? Yeah, I got, I got lost talking about the butterflies again, Pa. Okay, now, next time the butterflies call, just uh, take it easy. Okay, you see, Grandpa has a bunch of big guns. Yeah, he I, was a war hero. Me, do you think he'll let me shoot one? Maybe if you play your cards right, Derlin. Everybody on the wagon. Oh man! Hey, Shelly, sit next to me. I want to talk oh, to you. Me. Come on, Grandpa! Oh. Oh. Grandpa, what are you doing? Get on, you pussy! Come on, Pa. He's just, he's just, he's just playing with you, Pa. No, oh, Pa. Gr Grandpa didn't mean it. He was just playing with you. Always oh, have your guard up. Where are we going? I'd say north of, uh... Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> oh, Mr. Franks, are you gonna let him sit there? Oh, oh. If he's gonna sit beside me, he needs to be a man. Say it! Yes, you little <laughs> pussy! Okay. Now hold the curse Pull back up. Okay. Say it! I'm a man. Sing, you gotta sing, you gotta sing, you gotta sing the, the Woodsman of America song, Pa. Uh, Mr. Say it! Oh. Say it! Oh. Say it! Oh. Too busy crying. Oh, oh, uh oh. There, I'm a man. I'm a woods man, and I'm driving. That was pretty good. That was pretty close. I give that. I give that a pass. 
Is that better? No. I thought that was pretty range. good. All right. You want the reins, Paul? Give it a gun, All right, there you go. <laughs> go! Make him, make him go. 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 Make him Paul. go, Mr. Fred. Yeah. Go, Paul. Yeah. Come on. Onward. Yeah. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Where if I point a gun okay. at Go! Do you not know uh -oh. how to use these things? Uh oh. Maybe you just maybe if you just pop off a shot, Mr. Fred, they'll get spooked. Maybe uh just give me the reins there. There. Try. No idea. Nah, this, this horses might be spooked. Go, horse! Go! Uh oh! Maybe we just need to swap. Maybe you guys just need to swap. I'm just trying to help. Oh, you got it now, Mr. I Fred? got it. There we go. Okay, we weren't supposed to switch seats, I guess. There, the horses are horses are creatures of comfort and and hab and ha habit. And sometimes, if you if you're trying to trick a horse, they'll even be able to recognize you. You know how you can tell the difference between a horse and a mule? Oh. Because of, because of the way it is, you look at it and you go, "Is that a horse?" And if you say yes, then it's a horse. But if it doesn't look like a horse, then it's a mule. Oh, what about is. donkeys? It's very informative. Yeah, you're gonna learn a lot on your tour, on your nature tour today. My pa is the smartest man in the whole wide world. Hey, well, little boy. You know I learn from the best. Little boy. Huh? You know your grandfather got freaky with a mule once. I just thought you should know. Mr. Fred, did you get freaky with a mule one time? Paul? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Paul's uh -oh. got that look in his eyes. He's got the look in his eyes. Uh-oh. Uh. Huh. Did I say something I wasn't supposed to tell your kids? Are we gonna square up, huh? I would rather, hey, Jason. I'm a veteran of the Civil War. I stood on the front line for bayonets into the eyeballs of the enemy, but only when I saw the whites in their eyes. I okay. killed a man with okay. my bare hands and watched his soul life from his eyeballs leave this world. You want to say something, pussy? Oh. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. He did not get freaky with the mule. The mule got freaky with him. It kicked him in the face. I phrased that wrong. I'm sorry, old man. I will never disrespect you against your your, your kids like, in front of your kids again. It was a moose. It was a it was a moose he got freaky with, okay? And then he turned into jerky, and we had jerky for like a whole Jesus year. Christ, it was Jason. awesome. I think they're going to kill us. Oh, here, Pa, you can take the front. I'll take shotgun. Come on, Paul, I'll help you up. Dude, leave uh, uh, I ain't fighting no more. No fighting, no drinking, no sin. <laughs> what do you mean? What if we're going, what if they're going to kill us and feed us to the Jason? Jason's horses! Well, we paid them, so you know, they've gotta uh, oh, follow again. a certain code of conduct. What's going here, on, I'll little try. horsey? Come on, get with the program here. Any luck there, Mr. Fred? Give me the range. You have them! No, you do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think we all need to get off of it. <laughs> Everyone off the wagon! Everybody off. Everybody back up now. Get on! Get okay. on, everybody on. Come on. Michelle, you gotta go on the other you gotta go on the other side. I gotta be next to my paw. Come on up here, girl. Oh, there, nice lady. This game's pretty. Oh, man, you guys are going to learn so many fun things. I can't wait. You just wait till you hear my grandpa talk about the different things that he knows in nature. You guys are going to learn a whole lot. You're going to come out of this. And people are going to wonder how you have such a good brain mind, and you're going to be able to tell them. Because you will look at all. 47 ways of how to take a life. What he means is, I was gonna teach you survival techniques, how to keep your calm in the wild. Ain't that right, Pa? 
Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. It's definitely worth the money I paid. I'll have you know this is a premium wagon and wolves are spooked of us. We are not to be afraid of them, although we will respect that this is their world. It's also ours. Ain't that right, Derlin? That's exactly right, because we need to learn that sharing is caring. Sharing, sharing, everybody do your part. Sharing, lie. sharing, Lobos everybody lie. help. Lobos don't care about sharing, okay? They are parasites. They are pests on this world. They don't care Zero what you are, Parker. Wolves are they are what's, part what's of the great pride. They are families on the road. They care for one another. That's right, Mr. Fred. How about this? I give you a challenge, old man. I want you to stare down a wolf and talk about all your honorable codes and stuff and see if that wolf obliges you, huh, boy? I was raised by wolves. He was raised by them. He even danced Bro. with oh, them shit. one time. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. If you, you play wolves in front of us, I'm gonna wolf. Square in the eye. Just like that. Yeah, Go listen ahead. here, you little pipsqueak. I was raised on wolf suckers and wolf milk. All top of the action. Is that some wolf stuff? Potty, he actually suckle at a wolf teat? It's like right I told you, Derlin, you gotta, you gotta call it as you see it. You don't suck off the snake bite, but there's other things you can, and it works just as good. There's so many things I need to learn about nature. Which things can I suck on? Which things can I not suck on? How long should I suck on them? We'll come to those one at a time, and we'll approach them specifically to which one's gonna work. Now just remember, don't go sucking on every wound you see. Yeah, cause remember there, remember, remember that time where, remember, yeah, okay. Exactly. We were gonna get goat's milk, and then I was trying to get goat's milk, but I only had one udder, and it took a long time. I barely got any milk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what did you end it up? You ended up getting a face full of goat I'm cheese. Here. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I wanna. That buy. sounds disgusting. Nature's so I confusing. Now remember, <sighs> we're navigating up to a trail. Now remember that learning to navigate is important, everybody. A compass is handy. But there's other tricks you can use to help find your way. Remember, like pissing that, in the but, wind. Well, actually, that's not a bad. That's not a bad one. Derlin's very good at that. Remember, Derlin, when you'd pee straight up, you'd lay down and you'd pee straight up in the air and see which way the wind blows. That's right. Grandpa sometimes got mad at me because he said it made my clothes smell bad, but I always got the direction right. That's what they call the golden compass. It's a golden compass. You lay down, Seriously? you pee straight up, and you see which way the wind blows. Wow. And if there's no wind, well, then you're in for a pleasant surprise. That's right. Sometimes I would do it even when I was indoors, just so I didn't lose the practice, you know? Oh my god. This whole, what I'm gathering from this is you people are very well versed with wild animals and, and, and the wildlife and everything. What about wild people, huh? Like the, the gator people, huh? We are wild people. We are wild people. What if the cannibals, you know, in the in the bio come for us? You, you think you could talk them out of it? Pretty easily. I would just be like, hey, why did you watch this? Gator guy. And then I probably bet you I could even eat a whole pine cone. Or maybe half of one, but I could eat a lot of a pine cone. And then they go, wow. It's hard to talk them down when their bellies are full of lead from my gun. You can eat pine cones? What, what? what he means to say is there's always a way to negotiate and talk. I mean, we're amongst nature. What's, it's, it's all, uh, we all got to share this together. Look around us. Look at the dappled light coming out of the trees. Do you not see that? Can you not see it? Look at the light rays coming through the trees. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Oh, well, all it's we wonderful. can see is out of the back of this wagon and the sun's pointed in the other direction. Okay, well, maybe. well, maybe once we hit a turn here, you guys will be able to see the beauty. Just remember, the sun rises in the... North? It's sky! Okay. okay. All right, so y'all would have been dead if uh, we were lost because uh, the sun rises in the east. Remember, Derlin? 
these. That's right. I, I, I remember. That. That's what I was thinking. And where you... and where does it set, Darlin? Uh, uh, it says in the west, in the west, Pa. Absolutely correct. You see that? <laughs> I you got see it. that? You see that, Pa? I taught him well, just like you taught me. Can I sing a? Can I sing a? Can I sing a? Can I sing a traveling song now? I think it's fitting. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I come from Tumbleweed with a banjo on my knee And I'm bound for Valentine, well, my true love for to see hey. Well, it rained all night, the day I left, the weather was so dry I'm Oh, the it's had so hot, I froze myself, so Susanna, don't you cry Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me Well, I come from Tumbleweed with a banjo on my knee Woohoo! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Well done. That was beautiful. Yay. That was great. Yeah, that, was, that was wonderful. Wonderful. I hate it. It's, it's important. Pa says it's important to sing sometimes when you're in the when you're in the woods. Because that way if there's a little grizzly bear somewhere, he'll know where you are and he won't he won't come up to nibble on you. And also because because sometimes they'll make the little trees and the birds happy and the hat birds happy. Exactly. Are there any sacred animals you don't want me to kill? I did not know kill? that. You say sacred animals? Yeah, like, like, but can I shoot a bolt eagle? What the hell are you guys gonna, are you gonna kill me? Uh, first I'd say good luck. Do you know how hard it is good to shoot luck. a bolt eagle? <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is? <laughs> I've done it before, okay? You think I'm a liar? Sure thing. I think it'll, uh, good luck, but, uh, you better do that on your own because a bald eagle will come swooping in and scoop the freedom right off your face. Right off of your face. Not the oh one I God. shot. The one I shot just went, ah, and that was it. Oh, well, slimy, I'm pretty sure that's bad luck. So, what is luck anyway, huh? Well, luck doesn't mean shit in these lands. You were the one hey. with your face down ass up in the mud earlier so <laughs> good one that was, he was. <laughs> Billy. that was one, that Paul. wasn't luck. <laughs> no that, that wasn't luck that was me stabbing him in the face now does anyone know how to find the north star um you if you're if you have your eyes closed and you look up in the sky and then you and you open them then you can see it because if it's bright Maybe, uh, what do you but think, but... I'll give you a hint, Derlin. Okay. It's, it's big, and it's okay. in the sky. Okay. And it's got a bit of a dip. <gasps> like a big the sun. The big dipper. That's right. Oh, yeah. Brr. We're here. Oh, how exciting! Well, all right. Oh my God. I was getting tired hanging onto the side of the cot like that. Thought we'd start the trip here with a little bit of a, a watery adventure, huh? What say ya? Oh, I love the ocean. All right, strip down to your tents and get what? Everybody grab a bush and change. Here's a nice shady area over here. I call this one Gibbs. Find a bush and change. We'll meet out by the front water line. Dad, will you help me if I get my beepus caught in my buttons? Absolutely. Let me see here. I'm going to take this backpack off. Get rid of this backpack. And these pesky pants. My shirt. My vest. Just keep the hat on, huh? What else do I have on? I got invisible legs. Uh, I think it's the boots. There we go. Don't look, I'm in Don't look at anyone. Respect every camper and hiker's privacy here. What the hell, boots? What the hell are those? Those aren't boots. What are they, shin guards? Are they chappies? What are those? Oh, whatever that is. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
I got the necktie on still. The walk over here, you spraying the urine. I'm gonna clean on this side. Hey, Dad, do you dare? Dad, do you dare me to try to jump off that rock into the water? No, Daryl, I don't hold need on. you doing that. You're gonna get yourself hurt. I can't see how anything could possibly go wrong. Let him do it. Darlin, 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 be careful. Darlin, be careful. It's like I'm the king of the world, I think he's Pa. Bad. Uh, no. it's a, it, we don't know how. Did you check how deep or shallow it was over there? Echo. No, Pa. What kind of an idiot you think I would be to just jump into a body of water? Jump your first, and how deep it is first, Pa. Just be, just be careful. I can go check yeah, the. Pussy. I, I can check how deep it is first, if you'd like, Darlin. Are you you can, sure? Can you come over and count me down? Three, two, one, jump. <laughs> Darlin. <laughs> Darlin, are you all right? It wasn't that deep at all. Darlin. Darlin, Darlin no. Here, I'll just keep your keep his hand afloat. Keep his hand afloat. Easy there, Durley. Easy, Durley. Come on, breathe now. Let the cold water take. There you go. Hey, everyone. Back in the store, we're going to make a fire. What'd you just learn? Just What'd you learn, Durlin? Uh, I learned that sometimes yeah, water can be deep and you don't think it fire. is. Exactly. Uh, get dressed. Get dressed. Well, can I dry off by the fire before I put my clothes on? They're gonna get all soggy. You enjoy no. yourself a nice dip there, Shelly? Oh yeah, getting all the mud and shit off me. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Very oh, refreshing. Shelly! He sadly looks like he needs help, Shelly. Maybe you should. Oh no! Maybe you should help him. Let's get in there. Action! I'm going to die. Save me! Oh, he's slimy. Slimy, you gotta keep your head up, buddy. You gotta tread water. Come on now. Grab his feet. Hold his feet up. Grab his feet. Hold his feet. I got his feet. I'm keeping his feet up. I'm, I got him. I got his feet. Well, the current's taking him away. The current's taking us away. It's a strong current. It's a strong current. It's very strong. Easy throw. Grab his ankles. Lift his ankles up off the water. I'm trying. Lift his ankles off. He's fine. Okay, I'll get him. I'm going to die. No. Okay. All right. Push him in. Push him into the shore. Push him into the water. Put, no, push him into the shore. Oh, he went under again. Grab his ankles. Grab his ankles. Grab his ankles. Where is he? He's uh, he's down here. So help me out, Derlin. Oh. 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 Mr. Fred? Mr. Fred? Uh, I to get him out of the water. <laughs> this is a trick I learned when I was a boy. This is how I learned to swim. My dad and my dad before me. Sink or swim, go in the power of fear and sweat will get you out. Watch this. <laughs> shoot some, I shoot some sink. Out of the water! Grandpa, I think you might just be shooting them! You might just be shooting them, Grandpa! <laughs> oh, son. I'm scaring them out of the water! Pa, where are you? <laughs> Make some noise, Pa! Make some bubbles! <laughs> That's the end of pa. Frank Dewberry. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna try. I didn't know this game try. actually had ah. a stamina bar for ah. swimming. Ah. No! This rope is so light! <laughs> That's the end of Frank no. Dewberry. Ah. Well, what do we always say? Well, we actual, always say that actual if, fish. Pa, if I ever get separated from Pa, that, we, that he would meet at where the river goes to the nearest, to the nearest Here's town. Here's your Here's your head. Water uh, always does what? We'll meet up. Freezes in winter. I can't check my map. Oh, sure look this fucking me. fish just laughing okay. at me. Yes, sir. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like you drowned. Water always 
Water no. goes downhill. Water always goes downhill. Whoa. We fall oh. over. <laughs> the water will drain your corpse. is down I here. Mean, that corpse is. I found it. Right. Yeah, you're dead. Bro. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Sure. Okay. The current's we'll taking me. Pa, we're going we're to follow chilling. the river down, and we're going to beat you up where the river goes. Where the river goes down. Look at that I have shot. a black eye. Grandpa punched me in the face. Gonna grab your ankles and lift them above the water. That's how you're supposed to do it. I just love seeing him sit here chilling, just spread eagle. Spread it. Spread it. Well, well, well. If it isn't Frank Newberry, then he's drowning. Too bad you got a fish. <laughs> grab your ankles, he said. Grab your ankles. And now you're down here swimming with me. Shut up, you stupid fish. I'm trying to teach my boy some wilderness techniques. Looks like you can use a few techniques of your own. Leave me alone. Go swim away. Go swim off a stream and I hope a bear gets you. You see you around, Frank Newberry. Stupid fish. Always making fun of me, all staring at me. Well, 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 Frank Newberry down here. I'm Jerry the fish. Yo dumb ass sank to the bottom like a big fat ass rock. Shut up, Jerry the fish. See you around, motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna fuck some fish bitches. Damn right. I'm good at it too. Spread all my eggs around. Gonna be a whole lot of Jerry fish. Man, shut up, Jerry. You the weakest fish down here in the pond. Shut up, Craig, you broke ass. Goddamn, always talking shit. Oh no, there's so many fish around me. I hope everyone's all right. I hope they're learning about nature. That's all I can hope. Where are them fish bitches at? All I see is a big old smelly ass, dumb ass Frank Dewberry. We couldn't even swim for 30 seconds before he drowned at the bottom. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to teach my boy. Yeah, you didn't teach shit, your dumb ass. All you did was sink. <laughs> With your sinking ass, uh, like a big stone. You a big ass, sinking ass, dumb ass. Leave me alone already, I get it. I need to work on my ankle grabbing technique, that's all. Just didn't grab, it's one at a time. One ankle at a time, not both. It's a very delicate procedure. Well, lesson learned. I had no idea that there was a... <laughs> I had a, no idea that there was a goddamn uh, stamina bar. Oh, no. Where the hell are we? Where am I? Oh. Who are you? Why were you sleeping beside me? Oh, well, I tried to save you. Luckily, I was able to grab your ankles and lift you up long enough. It looks like maybe some natives found us and took us to their camp. Looks like our some bodies... Some survivalists you are, Puto. Mr. I best hit the wilderness. Well, Everything yields you're to alive. Like you're alive, aren't you? But you know what? You have a point, but still. Exactly. You got yes, a horse sir. you could whistle for, Slimy? Indeed I do. Maybe let out I... a, a sharp whistle. Skinny Pete, we can't be here too long. See, these are the people that burned me. Oh. These are the people that sent me on flames. They're very angry people, and they probably think you're a hunter, so they're probably going to scalp you too, so we better get out of here. Well, we would better get a move on then. Let's get out of here. You wanna, you wanna ride? Or you want me to ride? Uh, how about you, big uh, hat? We, well, we mean respect, partner. Uh, yeah, he looks a little bit ornery, but uh, I could try. Let's see here, if he'll listen to me. Let's get on the back now. 
and relax. You don't mind if I hold on to your hips? Just you? hold on tight. Real nice and close. You don't mind, right? Body heat. Let's kind do this. Thing. Come on, y'all. Yeah. No, no, no. Get close. You want me closer than this? If if you if you can manage, easy now. We don't mean nothing. Peace, peace and love. You're trampling all over their sacred stuff. Are you Shush, crazy? Slimy, you're gonna get us in trouble. Me? You're going to get us in trouble. How many times I gotta save your life in an hour? I, since your father isn't here, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret he told me. What's that? He told me that your mother, well, she's not quite what you think she was. What do you mean? Do you remember the story he told you about him getting kicked in the face by a mule? Uh, there's a few stories that start off that way. Which one in particular? The one that ended up with his beepers in the mule. All this beepers talk, you're listening to Durlin too much. Uh, it's, it's got a good ring to it, so I think I'm gonna stick on to that phrase. Well, there's a few stories that start that way, partner. So like I said, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. Oh my God. So you already know then that you're half mule. No, it didn't work. It doesn't work like that. That's not. Is it? It no, explains it, it, your, your broad forehead and your big ears. Well, you know, Pa, he's been uh, he's been in a lot of fights. A lot of he's been uh, he's been through a lot of bingers in the saloon. He's been through a lot of fights. He's been through a war. It's been through a lot. How does it feel? How does it feel to know that your mother is a mule? My ma, I don't know much about her. All right. All I know is I got my pa, and then I got my boy, and it's us three. Now, I ain't heard too much about my ma. Never did. Pa never really talked about her. So I don't know a whole lot about her. All right. And we're going to leave it at that, Slimy. You know what I'm thinking? Since What's you're that? thinking it this bad, you know, you're denying it. I wonder how your kid's going to take it, knowing he's one quarter mule. Uh, he hasn't asked too many questions. Darlin's been just fine. How about this? We'll make a deal. I want to let out your little family secret if you pay me $30. Slimy. Hmm? Why, I can why ruin your trying... family, okay? This Slimy, is like... why are you trying to game the system here? I'm just trying to teach about nature. Come on. I'm not trying to game the system. Everybody was, your father was, that everybody the was warning us. Careful with Slimy. He's just going to want your money. And I says, no, I see the look in his eyes. He wants now, to learn about this nature. On me. This is on you, okay? Your father fucked the mule and you don't want your son to find out about it, okay? How about you bury this secret for $30? It ain't that much. Where the heck? We're over here, right? Are we lost? Well, there this man. Hey. I thought you knew everything. The whole sun coming up on the east. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You and... just got out. And we're lost. You just no, got lost. out. Look around. That's all, Slimy. So this is a perfect opportunity you for you to learn. Now, where's the sunset? Uh, and there, over there. You see it right Where? There. There. And which way might that be? That way. Which way is it, Slimy? Over oh, well, that way. You have four options to guess, Slimy. Go on and take a guess. All right, uh, you're right. It's not that way. Not that way. Not that way. It's that way. You are familiar Hello. with the directions of the winds in the world? I go where money takes me, okay? Right now, money is around you. Well, all right, Slimy. Now, that's west. No, it's now, that we, way. That's, it would be west. All right. And no, the S on the compass doesn't stand for Slimy as much as you wish it did. It's south. We want to go oh. north. That's where the campsite was, you remember? I'm going to make a wager with you, okay? We're pretty, I'm pretty sure out of the, the people that we left behind or left us behind, only half of them made it. Who do you think's dead and who do you think's alive? Well, uh, other than uh, me swimming in uh, very heroically and triumphantly trying to save you, I saw uh, Shelly having a hard time treading all that water up there. 
Yeah, that little puta, I'm pretty sure she's dead too. It make me happy. You know why she caught me? Why? Why, Slimy? Why? Good, good talk, Slimy. Just gotta stick to the trail and follow the water line. They can't be far. Easy, horsey, easy. I swear camp was right here. Yeah, here's where I rescued you. They probably thought we went on down south. That's probably where the natives found us. <coughs> you all right? You all right there, slime? You ran me straight into a bug boot while they were right down my throat. You must be time. seeing things, Slimy. You we need to, to get some me. food in ya. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me. That's what you're trying to do, so I don't want... You're trying to silence me so your little son doesn't know he's a quarter mule. That little mule man piece of shit. Oh, Slimy, listen. When you're out here long enough, you start saying stop. We gotta get some gorp in your mouth. Gorp, that's that very shit you were talking about last time. See, I remember. Exactly. It's fuel. It's fuel for the adventuring spirit. Or maybe fuel for the lost spirit, because we're definitely lost. No, no, told, no. We're your not Your pride won't let you admit it. We're we lost. We have to use our instinct, slimy. Think to yourself. If you were them and you saw two bodies go rolling down the river, where would you think they'd end up? Are we there yet? No, we're not there. Are we there yet? Not yet. Easy now on these switchbacks. Maybe they You're went down to... here. They must be looking for us. You're going to let me know if we're there yet, right? I'll let you know, Slimy. Just don't go passing out on me back there. Why would I pass out, okay? I'm a, I'm a resilient man, I'd have you know. Well, you say you're starting to say stuff. I don't know. We got to get the gorp in you. No, Slimy! <laughs> Jeez, man, are y'all right? Uh, we're going to die out here. No, no, no. You killed me. It's yes, fine. You Listen, we've Slimy. We've been for almost an entire day. You killed me. No, 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 Slimy. Listen. Why here. did I come along? Listen My plan was simple. I was going to rob you, and no, it was no, no, going to no, be no. a good thing. No, 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 no. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. The natives, they left some. They left us with a little bit of snackies here. I got some corn here. Go ahead and chew on this. All of that. Just go ahead and chew on this. It's the only one we got. Now, I don't know how long we're going to be separated from the group. And we should probably actually ration that off. But what the hell was that? Jeez. Slimy. Get it together, man. We're, gonna, we're not, we're not going to get out of here. If you, I might have what to leave you, you here. Me? What did you give me? What is happening? It's corn. No, it's not. It's from the natives. It's fuel. Peyote. You no, 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 no. No, 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 no peyote. It's What's not me. Everything looks weird. What do you see? What is that? I think I don't know what I see. Slimy, no. Slimy. I don't know what's happening. Slimy, no. Lose his mind. Ah. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my Slimy. mind. Slimy, easy now, I knew boy. It. You were trying to kill me the whole time. Slimy, don't make me do it, Slimy. Everything I don't want to do it crazy. to you. Is this hell? Yeah. Am I in hell? Oh. What are you doing? Slimy, to me? I'm sorry. But you lost your mind. Me? No, I didn't. You gave me something. You tried to kill me. You're forcing me to rescue you old school style. By force. Oh, I can hear singing, chanting. Just what is enjoy that? the ride, Slimy. I'm saving your life again, whether you like it or not. I wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for you and your meddling brothers and my father and son, okay? I would be a rich man. I should have robbed you in Valentine. No, no, no. By the time you're through here, you're going to come away with this with so many lessons to be learned, I tell ya. I'm pretty sure I'm already dead. No, Not even the now. natives Let's did get me this bad. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't mind being burned alive again. I'd rather be burned than go no, through no, this No, 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 no burning. We're going to find the campsite and we're going to move on. Don't worry about it. You and your meddling mule family. 
by the, by the time we're done here, Slimy, you're gonna know where the North Star is, where the South Star is, where the East Star is, where the West Star is, which way the current goes, when's the best time to go swimming, when's the worst time to go swimming, where the best dwarf can be found, and which berries are the best ones to eat. Ah, uh, just kill me. Just no, kill me. No, no, no. You're gonna know so much about nature. Now, hold I'd on. Let die. me use my eagle eyes here. Use my binoculars here. Why can't you admit it to yourself that we're lost? We're we not lost. We're never going to go back to civilization. This is it for us. They probably think we went on down the river here. So they're probably out searching for us. They probably got a whole search party and they're probably panicking. They didn't anticipate the natives would find us. Ah. Uh. We well, just you know gotta get I to think. a higher vantage point, that's all. If we go back to them like this, we'll be the laughing stock, stock, stock of the expedition. We gotta tell them some heroic story, okay? No, no, no. It's gonna be fine, ah. Slimy. Your father will be proud of you. We can tell him we killed like 10 Native Americans who tried to kill us Comanche type, the crazy ones. And we killed a bear that had a huge scar on its face. And you got your toes nibbled on by a few wolves, but you actually stared them down. Those natives were good people, you yeah, know? They saved us. I wouldn't go fibbing on them, Slimy. You keep fibbing on people like that. That's why you got so many enemies. And that's why I got a lot of money, too. Well, you know what? Then if why you were you lie... giving us such a hard time on the $20? Because that's not how you... Stay rich, okay? A millionaire who gives away a single dollar is not a millionaire anymore. You know that, right? But I tell you, Slimy, all the riches in the world are right out here. You don't need all that money when you got nature. Yeah, I feel real rich right now, tied up behind a fucking skinny-ass horse with a crazy man. I feel real wealthy. Just yes, keep so your rich. spirits up there, Slimy. It's not that bad. Wolves! Oh, go stare Run them like down. the wind! No, stare them down! Sorry, Slimy, I gotta go! No, don't leave me! Oh, shit. Where's Paul? Run, Frank, run. Run, Frank, run! Oh god, my nature instincts. No! Gotta go! Oh! Remember, steep hills help. They're not like mountain goats. Not like me. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. Not today! Not today, I say! Ouch! Oh, my feet are killing me! Rocks. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Help! Somebody help! Great. Now how am I gonna get out of this one? Gonna have to use all my survival instincts. On foot. No shoes. Come on, Frank. You've been trained to do this your whole life. We gotta go back for Slimy. We can't leave him there. He seems like the scoundrelly type. Maybe he'll be able to break free. Paul! Paul! Darlin! Paul! Darlin! God damn it, Slimy. I hope he's able to slither his way out of that one. Good call on the mountain goats. Think like a mountain goat, Frank. Always think like a mountain goat. Paul! Darlin! It's the goddamn river that never ends. Nature, 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 nature. A bridge. Let's see here. There's the other bridge. Maybe here I'll be able to get a good vantage point. 
Surely they're down here looking for us. Use my binoculars. Come on. Think, Frank, think. Need help so we can go back and find Slimy. I don't see them anywhere. They're not down there looking for us. I thought they'd be fishing for us for sure. Let's see here. Now, where's the North Star? Hello? Hello? I swear I just heard running. <laughs> I wonder if that's in the song. I don't know. I swear I heard someone going. <laughs> Fucking wolves, dude. Well, great. How am I going to get out of this one? Got myself in quite a pickle. Yeah, I don't want to use any meta stuff. I, uh, while I was drowning, I do think I remember kind of Milton saying, if you get, you know, if the current takes you downstream, meet us downstream a bit. So I thought, you know, coming downstream would help, but maybe we could check good old Fort Wallace. Maybe there's people at the local Fort Wallace. I hope Slimy's all right. <laughs> I thought they would take the bait, you know. Hey, partner, partner, wait! You little shit, you get away from me! No, 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 Slimy! You me for that. Slimy, listen no, me. listen here. You want to listen, to Slimy? No, nothing. So, down. no, 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 Slimy, let me, Shoot Slimy, me. let me talk. We can talk this out, partner. What? Listen here, partner. The wolves were coming, but they had their eyes set on me. Now, I know you are a scoundrelly type, and I know you could break through that rope as soon as those drugs wore off. I was the one who led the dogs away from ya. So you're telling me that you tried to save me back there? Did I not lead those dogs astray? I took three of them out with my dead eye, and then I ran down this here mountain, almost killed myself, just so you could break free and make a run for it. Um, so you, so you, so you didn't leave me behind? I didn't leave you behind, Slimy. For God's sake, I'm trying to save you. It just looked like it. It sounded like it until you left and you said, Hey, I'm gonna. I don't know I what said, you said. Sorry, but I said, sorry, I gotta heart. go. But yeah, I think it would make said. sense the second you had a chance to break away and get free. You know what? It played out that way, so I'm going to choose to believe you, okay? Slimy, I would <laughs> never just dispose of you to be eaten by wolves. You think I'm some kind of monster? I'm going to be honest with you. If I was in your position, I probably would have shot you in the leg to make sure I made it. You're well, a nicer man than me. Well, you don't know which way it could have gone, but it went a certain way, and look, here's both of us still alive. You know what? You're right. You're right. So let's keep just... this rescue mission going. I was thinking the worst. I thought this man Easy. who promised to keep me safe just left me to be dog shit. Literally. Oh, no, no. Now, let's keep our pistols on on hand, just in case some angry, hungry wolves come our way. Your horse is quite bullets. ornery. Well, maybe you just having it in your hand will be enough to scare them off. Okay. Great, there's oh, already boy. wolves. I can already hear them howling. Are you going in that direction? Do you want us to die? We're going to Fort Wallace. We're going to ask them if they've seen anyone. Excuse me there, partner. Have you seen any, uh, any, uh, nature wilderness adventurers around? Uh, I don't mean no respect on, uh, the Fort Wallace here, but I just want to know if you'd seen my, my camp, uh, my hiking camp here where, where we got the pistols out because there's dogs. We... Slimy, I don't think he wants us in there because we got our pistols drawn. Then shoot him. Not gonna take a man's life, Slimy. Uh, hey, he made the choice not to let us in. I saw you kill him dead. 
Well, if you kill them dead, then they're all gonna come for us, and then we're good as dead. Okay, chicken shit, give me your gun. I'll fucking do it. I'll kill him. You can't live with that on your conscience. I can't. You ain't Listen, shit, I'll do it every other day. They're not gonna let us in. More of them are gonna come out, guns blazing, and then run. We got no hope. Maybe we'll just head back to town and see if we can find them. That's our best bet. We're naked. We got a few bullets on us, and that's it. You know what I hear? What? Bark, 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 like a fucking chicken liver shit. <laughs> I'll do it, but you're too scared, big bad countryman, lumberjack fellow. It's too scared, mule boy can't handle his shit. If it was up to you, you would have been dead a long time ago. Face it, you know it's true. You went and you ate all those, those drugs, those peyotes, and you lost your mind. That you gave to me. Find you, you handed me poison. You I gave you the me. corn. It was, you know, some sustenance because you were losing your damn mind. And then you helped me lose my mind even further with that crazy shit. Well, at the end of the day, we're all right. We're going back into town. So just calm down, all right, Slimy? We'll get you a nice bowl of stew. Compliments of the tour. You know, didn't know it would go this wrong, but when it comes to nature, you never know which way it's gonna go. The least you could do is let me know before you kill me. You know that, right? You say, hey, Slimy, I'm going to kill you right now, okay? Heads up, and I'll be okay with it. I'd understand. But don't just do it out of the blue telling me you're my friend. No, Slimy, that's not how it goes. Sli well, well, well. Help! Help! He's trying, he's trying to kill no, me. No, there's times. no need to help. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Are you okay? My knees. Oh, for God's sake. Pa no. Slimy, what did you do? What did I do? What did you do to Pa? Pa? Wake up, Pa. Oh. Pa. Oh. What happened to the others? Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred, he's, he's dead. Mr. Fred. You're a soul Mr. survivor. Mr. Fred. Mr. Mr. Fred. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I love he's this. Be mad at I love yeah. this trio yeah. already. Hold on. Give me a second. Which one was he? Which one's the gray coats and the blue coats? Which one we see against? Who are the good guys and the bad guys? The red coats or the bad guys or the blue coats? The red coats or the, the guys. okay, the red coats. What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's hold on. <laughs> pa? <laughs> Papa? Is he asleep? Oh, I don't. Uh, mm, How do you feel? I don't. Perma? Well, why were you? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Well, now we're going to have to figure out a way to get up into the cart. Wait, wait, there is no way, puto. It's you. You did No, it. you. You did it. This you did it. You. No, no, you, you did it. Problem, Can huh? he not put me in the wagon? I can't believe you did this to him by yourself. You uh, know what he told me on my journey? He said, what? what's, what's class he doing? Mistakes, you are his biggest, okay? And you just <laughs> proved it. You're the worst thing that's happened to this man. I can't wait to see that. You listen to me. Milton's you angle. scumbag. You're going to run me over too with your horses, huh? You got to do if you were, if you, If you were steering the horse properly, it would have been a problem. I, I've never driven a cart before. Well, now what you did. Back the cart. Back the cart up to the rocks. <laughs> Come on, Pop. <laughs> Come on, Pop. I'm going to take care of you. Whoa. All we need are some wolves now. No, but you gotta angle it so that the back is over here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God, they're gonna try to fucking shoot hey, me in like a basketball. Mr. Fred, sli slimy, slimy hurt Papa. He ah. hurt, but here my pa. Remember the red coats, you idiot. Hurry up and back it up here so I can put him in. You know what they say, fresh air heals all wounds. Going for the dude perfect toss. Oh, 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 oh I dropped Pa a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Pa. You're going to be fine. Okay, that looks pretty good. How are Hold they on. backing it up? I Come here, Pa. A back up button. You're going to be right as right. Yeah. Oh, Oof. no. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh you're nice. Pot. Oh, no. Nice. You might be okay. Hold on. Oh, it looked good. Okay, here you go, Pa. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now hold on. <laughs> R R1 backs uh, up. Move forward a little bit. 
Oh, what is it on PC? I was like, I'll make sure that. No, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's so slippery. Pa. Mr. Fred, what did you push Pa for? Hold on, stay right there. Covered in mud. I've got an idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't throw him very far. Slip touch. <laughs> I've got a horse. We can use it to bring him along. <laughs> Guys, Left it's really so okay. slick. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, double tap. Break. Okay, if I gotcha. just put him right here. I didn't know that. If I just pl plop him down right here. Thank you, guys. I had no idea what that okay. was. Go on. Yeah. Sit back uh, here. We can be like a barrier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, old man. Take a seat. <laughs> I love Derlin's glasses. He's really, he, he's really quiet when he's angry. Listen, he can't hear us. It's just me and you. I don't know if he can hear us or not. He's in one of his episodes. If the deputies ask us anything, we're gonna say the old man did it, okay? No, we're gonna say that we found Pa in the street. He's that slippery. You hit him, you're gonna tell him the truth? There he is. They got it. Wow, they actually got well, it. Well, I mean, it is the truth. We found him in, this, in the road. We didn't find him in the road, okay? You ran into him him. the road. I found him in the road. You turned your dad into roadkill, you monster. No, I, he's fine. He's gonna bounce right back. I need to, I need to concentrate for a minute. You concentrate. You think about what you did, you little demon. <laughs> How can you live with yourself? <laughs> How are you going to sleep tonight knowing what you did to your own father? The great indoors. Ah, Santa Maria. I sit beside the devil himself, the progenitor of all evil. I like slimy. That was fun. I like the little side quest we had. I saw that glare in your eye, okay? You were glad you did what you did, you little demon. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I escaped the wolves. I, I can't believe that. I guess that's a, that is How a pro tip. How much is meat going for these days? Wait, what do you mean by that, old man? Like well, the size of doesn't the... come too. I mean, we can make some money. You know what? I agree. I didn't even like his ass anyway. Because there's one thing I learned. It's that he tried to kill me three times. He don't tried shoot to the wolves. Me. Just and... run. After leaving me behind for wolves to eat on me. Shooting the wolves is just a, you're me. a sitting duck and they take so many shots second. it doesn't work. Running seems to be the only Not way. The <clears throat> me too, Mr. Fred. Oh, ah, oh. Wait, 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 what did I do? Yeah, you teach him a lesson, They're Mr. Fred. They're him up too. Wait, what did you, little kid, what did you say to the old man, huh? Only one person calls my son a pussy, and that's me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Listen, I got it. Uh, me and your son were talking, okay? There was things he told me that he could never tell you. You kill me. I can't see it's what's valuable. going on. Listen. Needs a broken something. I wish I could put like a hurt, injured walk on him. <laughs> Slowly slipping away. He's covered in mud. My body's all slippery. It's like I'm covered in margarine. Dude, look at his foot, dude. That is a broken ass foot. My foot hurts. Ow. Ow, my foot. Oh. Oh, it hurts to look at that foot. Mmm. There's something for you boys in chat. Something for you to enjoy. Muddy, muddy toes. Thank you guys for the bits, tits, sabs, and resabs, by the way. Vanny coming in, dropping that. All right. Three, take that. All right. Chip Scrambo coming in with some bats. Go, Frank, go. Can't believe we got out of that shit, dude. Can't believe we got out of that. Miss Nostalgia, thank you for the Prime 2, Bab Saget. 58 months, Babby. It's a long goddamn time, dude. Thank you very much. Eric, thanks for hopping on the Patreon. Bang, bang, thank you for the bits, dude. Uh, bang, bang, can't wait to watch this when I'm off of work. Looks like some 10 out of 10. It's pretty wacky. It's pretty wacky shit going on. Um, a load wheel. Thank you for the bits, dude. And Reptile Lover, thanks again for all those bitties. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in and the... In the morning. Stop talking about toes, chat. Stop.
Slimy's good. I like Slimy. It's funny because he, he's uh, he's always trying to be a, a scoundrel. And it's like easy to tell him like, dude, it's not working this time. And he's just like, yeah, you got a point. But still. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. What's going on out there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What yeeted me? What? I feel like my body was dragged out by a ghost. A spoopy, spoopy ghost. Maybe it was some sort of spirit of nature. Just felt like it grabbed me. I felt the presence of something sacred. Almost as if the trees whispered right in my ear. Yeet. And I got yeeted. Right in my ear, it said. Yeet. And I was yeeted. Where the hell did they go? <laughs> the spirit of something. The spirit said. You getting yeeted today, boy? Hey, boy! Come over here, I just yeeted this guy! You were gonna let me try to put a horseshoe on a horse for the first time. Bring the wagon back, you cow. Let me show you how a man deals with it. Oh, okay. Are you? Are you gonna... Oh. Are you gonna... I used to run 15 oh. miles oh. back and forth <laughs> every day. I feel both ways. Your father's nothing, I got this. Where the grandpa go running? I don't know what I've been told. You can move real fast. Me no one's been in the cold. What I'll happened to Slimy? Town. We'll have to ask. Maybe I'll get your whore to warm me up. Oh. Just running him, dude. What happened to everyone is the better question. We got a lot of questions to ask as soon as we come back. But there's a lot of stories that unfolded here. And through our nature expertise, we survived. How's he looking, Mr. Fred? <sighs> like always ever, a pussy. <laughs> get him on the table. Pussy. Come on, get him up there. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, Pa. Saving private You're gonna Dewberry. Be all right. Uh uh. Oh. Doctor, my son suffers from being a nasty boy. See what you can do about it. I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay, Mr. Fred, I'm gonna stay here with him. Pa, you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sing you a song oh, that'll that. that'll make you feel all better. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I'm going to Red River Valley. Valley. Where I'm from, I don't know. I was young. I was young. Oh, cause babies don't have very good memories. Memories. Typically until they are roughly four or five. five. And one day we both went out camping. camping. I saw up in a tree there's a bird. bird. And the little bird had a nest with some eggies. What the f that my dad took out of the nest to eat. Hey. Are you a doctor? Uh I saw a young man coming in here and I was just making sure he's has where's your father? Well, he's probably waking up in the other room. Pa? Oh, okay. Is that uh, Pa? Uh, oh, Pa, what happened? Are you okay, Pa? I heard. Yeah, as long as you I have your dad. singing to my son, singing a song. 
Oh. I'm so glad you're awake, Bob. Oh, oh my I, heck, I, darling! So what the heck's going on? I, you went for a swim, and then that slime guy got stuck in the water. You went in to get him, okay. and then the, the craziest thing: I had a rope, and I tried to get the rope out, and I could save you. I could keep you safe. I tried to throw the rope, and I couldn't get out of water. And we thought maybe the girl was gonna carry you. I was gonna win. Well, we, 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 well we, darling, we, listen, we, it's all right now. I'm quit fine. fucking yelling! I'll tell you. Sir, yes, sir. My brother, I don't have a brother. Oh. Uh, you boys got my clothes? They should be somewhere. Oh, oh, there's what do you... I an extra one, because I was always the compra one. Oh, thank you. Oh, they the they, they might be a little tight on you. That's fine. I figured, you know, when I left him in the bush, you probably grabbed my clothes. So I'll just take those from you. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. I'm going to go get changed before I walk out in the town. Still don't change the fact he's a failure. All right. There you are, confidence and bravery in the face of danger and tyranny. I now present to you your Woodsman of America survival badge. Not even your father got it. Nope. You don't even have it, Pa. I don't. Welcome. You are now no longer, no longer a pussy. I'm no, no you can pussy. call me Papa. I can call him Papa. <laughs> well <laughs> done. Ever. Well done, Darlin. You're doing great. I'm so excited. It just makes me feel like I <laughs> sometimes I get my head stuck in my <laughs> backpack, but it makes me feel like dancing. <laughs> well done. Part of me there, sir. I'm just celebrating. Get it out of there, Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, shit. So what happened to Slimy? Oh. He's right there. He's right there. He's fine. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I went in uh, the water and I saved him, but then the current took us down the river and then the natives found us and they brought us to their town. So we ate corn and we had a good time, but then we went looking for you guys. So we went up and down the trail and I used all my wilderness techniques and then wolves came for us. And then I had to run down a mountain and I barely survived. But I remember what you said about running barefoot down mountains with rocks and I survived. And then I lost Slimy, but then I found Slimy and then, and then I got, it all got fuzzy after that. See? Oh. Oh. Get yourself together, Let's Pa. Let's talk more oh. surviving. Oh. Oh. Pa, it's okay, Pa. Come oh. on, oh. you're going to be all right. It's not a big deal. We're going to, oh. we're going to go and we're going to teach people so much about nature. All right. Do your job, pussy. Find us people and we'll teach them about woods. That guy looks like he likes raccoons. Ask him. Uh, okay. Uh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You, you look like you're down for a little bit of adventure, a little bit of hiking and camping and wilderness survival technique learning. <laughs> you guys think you can teach me something? I bet you we could. Derlin here is a very good survival expert here on his own right, and he's learning all the right necessary tricks to survive That's the right. wilderness. Ain't that right, Derlin? That's exactly right. And based on the absolute subpar job you've done in making your... Take you out into the wilderness and but, try to kill you but, in a million okay. and one but, ways. But, based on, based on this... Survived. This is the spirit but, of just, Who is this man? I don't based, know what that well, mysterious I'm voice is. I'm not sure one, either. I hear Any some kind of blabbering, based, but yeah. Based on, based on the absolute subpar nature. You may live but, on. Gentlemen, based, why don't, why don't based, we have talk? Yeah, yeah let's, maybe we should talk somewhere where we can't hear an invisible voice. So, uh, Derlin, is that, is that what it was? Yeah, yes, sir. Great is Derlin. The other one is which is the, uh, what's the fake What's the fake Santa Claus here? What's your name? My name is Fred Dewberry. I am the senior like of a, the Great Woodsman like of America. He is a veteran, and you better treat him with some respect. Oh, He's not right. Come down. Man. He's not a filthy hobolo like you. Come down, Whoa, everyone. Whoa, whoa. I, mean, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to start anything. I understand. I understand. So what do you say, there, partner? You want to learn a little bit about survival, or you think you're too good for it? Uh, listen, I'm. I'm not too good for it. But let me teach you something. You see this hat in my head? Yeah. Have you ever rested a raccoon's testicles on your noggin? 
Uh, can't say I ever put them on my noggin, but I've put them over an open fire before, and mm -mm, mm. it's Durlin's favorite tasty, meal. That's a tasty snack. I like the way they pop in my mouth. Yeah, yeah he eats them like grapes. Mm. All right. Well, maybe we can teach each other some stuff. I'm, I'm looking forward to our uh, our adventure. It's $20. $20. $20. You want to learn about nature. Back up some, $20. Yep. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, well, oh, fight. We oh. got to fight. Wow. That guy has potential. You, sir, what's your name? Pussy. Pussy? Pussy. pussy. His name's Pussy. I already like his name. Hey, watch pussy. your mouth. What do you think about going and learning how to survive in the woods? You seem to have the panache. No, I heard you on my way out. You're, you're going to charge me, yeah? I don't oh, need yes. to pay That's to be a man. That's for supplies and provisions, which will be given well, back accordingly on the to, trip. To do fishing, and to get bait, and catch a big salmon. Of course, we need we need to be able to survive. I tell you I tell what, you what, pussy uh, boy. What if you I, teach us, you teach you my boy money, some of them uh, fighting techniques the there, and we'll give you a discount. Oh man, he can teach me how to fight. <gasps> Papa, can he, can he teach me how to fight? I'd say so. <laughs> what do you say? Tell me what's in store first. Well, go ahead. we'll go on what a trip. Tell? We'll go on up and we'll do a trip. We'll teach you all the proper Jesus survival. Percy? Percy? That's what we're saying. Yes, Percy boy. Uh, yeah, Percy. Little Percy boy? Yeah, we're going to take you up well, and we're going to show you all yeah, the wilderness just, techniques. You know, making sure that. You know. What do you think about that? What do you think? All right, let me just grab my stuff first. Oh, man. I can't wait to learn how to fight. It's going to teach bam, you a bam. thing or two. I'm going to get. I'm gonna learn how to fight a man. I want my boy to know proper fighting techniques. Why don't you techniques. go ahead and punch this man right over here? Well, I haven't learned how to fight yet. Well, that's a hard-working man. Why would he punch him for no Why reason? would I punch him? He's a hard-working man. Just like so, my pa so and my papa. Guy. Well, he wasn't working that hard. What's this? My stuff. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Excuse me. Is that slimy? No slimy here. <laughs> well, good luck, gentlemen. I hope to join you on your adventure soon. Tw 20, how, how Take care, $20? Take care Maybe partner. Maybe you better work on your attitude first, Buster. Oh, listen, my name's Shepard. Okay. Raccoon man. Easy there, Sheppy. We'll see you around, you know? Maybe we'll see you out in the wilderness, and we'll trade some wilderness techniques sometime. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that moment. Well, I right. have a big surprise to show you once we get out there, Pa. What's that, Darlin? You'll see, but it's a, a surprise. A wilderness surprise? A wilderness surprise. Okay. All right. The $20 and we'll continue our adventure. Now, Derlin, I'm going to use this as an opportunity for you to go over the precautions of going on a wilderness trip while your paw here goes around backside the stable and lets a piss out, all right? I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, Pa. Make sure you let him know all the dangers, the do's and the don'ts, and uh, we'll be on our way. You got it, Pa. I'm not, I won't let you down. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be. right in the watering hole uh, I got a piss I will be right back boys is it slash piss I gotta give you guys the full immersion dude it's a stance isn't it P ah, right down the watering hole I will be right back dude look at that beautiful view of this guy pissing enjoy
That's better. Oh, yeah. Oof. It's holding that one in. Ah. Drink of water. Little water out, little water in. So we're good to go. Ah. This music's beautiful. That's good piss. Champin' look around and do it. Wanna change the world? There's nothing to it. I fell in love with an otter, with a sea otter. All right, who's ready for adventure? Is he all prompted I'm and ready with his snackies and gorps? I am Never learning from mostly his dad. He's still learning. I'm hey, still learning. Back, welcome back, pussy. Welcome okay. back, pussy. This is the This is the man paid. I didn't get any yeah. money. I didn't get anybody either. I paid you, old man. Did you get paid, Papa? I didn't get paid I didn't $20. Get, I didn't get no, paid No, I paid 15 because up there you told me I was going to get a discount. So I paid Who you 15 Who said you are going to get a discount? No, I said you are going to get a discount. No, you said, said I'll that. train him to fight and I get a discount. Who said that? Who said that? Oh, well, I thought maybe, you know, a small discount. So, you know, the, the boy Derlin here could learn how to, you know, throw maybe a fist a cuff or two. And maybe, maybe it would be fair. You know, we teach a little wilderness. He teach a little, you know, fighting technique. Yeah. You know, don't worry about it. I'll pay the extra five for you to keep him away from me. That's fine. Very good. We're going to go hunt buffalo. All right. Come buffalo. on, Paul. Buffalo. Wow. Whoa. Okay, yeah, oh, I think we both okay, tried Pop? to get on the whack at the same time. Or it's Come on, just Pop, stop weird. screwing around. All right. Uh oh, there it is. All right, everyone's on. We can go. Oh, yeah, Darlin' better get on. Here we go. I'm on now, Pa. <laughs> All so right. why don't you tell our gentlemen all the facts you know about wild buffalo? Wild buffalo. You ever come across a, one of those? What's his name? Percy? Percy? Yeah, Mr. Percy. Percy, you ever uh, come across a buffalo? No, no, I've never seen one. Right. Well, that's what everyone thinks, but they look they can look a lot like a moose from far away. Derlin had to learn that the hard way. Ain't that right, Derly? That's right. I tried to get close to one to see if its fur felt like a cat, and it turned with one of its horns, and it flung me into a bush. Right. They're very dangerous, the buffalo. You got to be nice to them, or they'll show you their teeth. They got a yeah. heck of a bite. Yeah, they have big <laughs> choppers. Big teeth. Strong okay. jaw. Okay. Stay away from the mouth. Good meat. That's right. Good meat on them, but you know, you mess with one of them and then you get the horns and the whole goddamn batch of them will come after you. So we're going to study them from afar. That's right. Because one of the things a lot of people don't know about buffaloes is that they're pack hunters. Yeah. They Just usually like hunt wolves. their prey in packs. Exactly. They find a prey that they know. They find a prey that they want to eat and then they gang up on it. You know? What the buffalo eat? Humans. Anything, I think. Yeah, humans. I seen a guy get torn to shreds eaten alive by one of them once. Body was strong enough to take one on by himself with his bare hands. Never saw him again. It can eat your. It can eat your you from inside the head. It'll eat your your, your head inside out. Oh wow! Well, what's you the guys scary, know your stuff. What's the scariest animal you have ever fought? Tiger. A tiger. A tiger. Where was that? In India, but but this sounds like a level up, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, yeah, well, we, you know, we don't have to tell you how to be tough. We saw you nearly kill a man with your bare hands earlier and down. Oh, that guy's a clown. He does that to me every day. Well, I hope he's all right. Anyways, um, be sure if we ever come across any danger or, you know, if we end up near a water hole and we end up going swimming, be careful. Um, I am a, uh, I'm quite versed in the ways of swimming. So if you start drowning, I'll come, I'll come save you. But I can't guarantee our, both of us won't go down the river. 
And uh, we don't want that to happen. That's already happened today. But through my wilderness expertise, I was able to save Slimy. Ha, you're so brave, Pa. I want to be like you when I grow up. You keep doing your chores and you keep up with us here in this here wilderness expertise and you'll be there in no time, Darlin. Pa, oh, pa, man. pa was just telling me the other day, you're very promising with all your duties you've been carrying through. Ha, oh, that's the best news ever, Pa. Wow. Hey, Mr. Mr. Percy, did, how about this? Did you ever have a dream that you thought you wish you want you were good you wanted you wish you had you wish you were you wanted you you good you were good you want you you thought you what you had you wanted to you did it you you thought you wish you you had you want you were gonna eat you 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 wish you you had you were you did you want you you thought you wanted him to do you so bad you could do anything? Nope. I have. I did it before. Okay. <laughs> um, was was your uh, son kicked by a horse any chance? Yes. We've uh, all been kicked okay. by horses, except Pa. It's a rite of passage. I got a badge for it. I was kicked by a moose. Grandpa a moose. was kicked by a moose, but he's usually the one kicking the horse. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I've kicked a few horses. Okay, we got a tough guy here. Mr. Tough Guy just goes around kicking horses. Hey, they look at you funny. you got to show them. I did that one time. I did that. I kicked a horse one time for looking at me, and then Pa said, that's your cousin. Don't do that. Oh, it's a nice horse. It was so-so. My Pa has a better horse. That's right. These two horses up here, they've gotten us through lots of treacherous territory and a lot of ankle busters. Yeah, I don't like this guy creeping up on me. Does he need us to get off the road, or is he giving you problems back there? You can just go around. You can just. You can just go around that way. We don't mean no trouble. Pussy. Hey, That's crazy. Sorry, sorry, Pa. You can take the reins. Come on, Pa. Well, all right. Well, all right. We're we back on track. We're up on the great land of our wild and indigenous buffalo. You'll notice as far as I can see, there's hundreds of them. The most plentiful meat known to man. A, a never ending supply. Never ending supply. Where That's probably they? one of my favorite parts about nature is that you can just take and 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 never worry about it running out. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful. Look around. Mother, that's right. You learn back there, Percy, that Mother Nature is a fucking whore. And all she does is fuck and fuck and fuck. What my So pa. take what you can. What my pa. Run in wet and come out dry. What Pa means is uh, you look around and just take all the nature in. Look at all this. We got the sun setting. Pop quiz. Where's the sun set? What direction? The sun in the sky. That's not wrong. Uh, Percy, would you like to take a guess? Uh, in the west? Correct, Amundo. We got a winner, winner. Come on now, dinner. winner. Ding, 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 ding. Wow. Cherry, cherry, cherry. You might walk out of this one with a badge. Maybe a star. Maybe you my $20 her. back. Maybe. Don't get, don't get carried away. But no refunds. It would be uh, unprecedented. Are we there? Almost. Almost oh, there's the old there. camp that we set up. Remember? Which what? Where? Where? Uh, over to the left, Pa. Use your directional words. Um, at my, um, at my. Or perhaps uh, time is always a good one. Uh, 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 at my uh, night. At my. The <laughs> raccoon <laughs> testicles. Ah. Uh, burn my eyes on that at one, my, boy. <laughs> At my seven o'clock, sir. You almost burped a hole right through the canopy. They're spicy. Oh, 
Well, I like them when they're fermented, like Good pickled God. eggs. God, we gotta get you a more well-balanced diet. We gotta get Grandpa here to make his stew he used to make. Oh man, remember when he used to make the stew? My favorite part was that he'd have, we, uh, we'd get stew and then a week later, it'd be the exact same pot of stew, but just thicker. I remember, do you guys remember when Where? Percy was on the back of the wagon? Oh. Do you guys remember I, when Percy I was do. on the back? <laughs> I do. I remember I do. that also. I do. I do seem to vaguely, oh, there he is. Well, he's back. Hey. All right, we're here. You guys are not observant, I, I mean. Hey. Are you all right, hey, Purse? That's pussy to you. Yeah. <gasps> Do you have your right to stop? Look on the hill. <gasps> deer. Is that a deer? Should I? I believe so. Should, should I shoot it, Papa? Now hold on. Just like we said, you gotta use your binoculars. And really scope it out, because it could be a moose or a buffalo if you're not careful. What do you see careful. over there, Pa? Ah, it's just he's in the high shrubbery. Not even my binoculars can point out what this sucker is. And whatever it is, oh. it's big. Should you... I take a shot at it, Pa? What do you say? Let's leave it up to Gramps. He's the weapon expertise. Well, you think Percy the boy should stand a shot? Today. Percy's our guest. You want to you to take the life of an animal? I mean, I, I've got a terrible aim. I'll be honest. I'm looking how at. You, I'm looking at Percy. He, he looks like he might be ready. Percy, he looks like this he might could be ready. Be, this could feed us you for tonight's ready? camping session. This could be the meat that we need for the stew. This could be the meat that we need for the stew. Are you ready? It's getting dark. Let me then show you how it's done. Yeah, sure. By show also me. showing my grandson. Come yeah. on, darling. Okay. I'm gonna teach you the way I was taught. Okay. All right? Okay. Single line file. Okay. Single line file. Okay. And on the count of three, we charge and shoot. Uh, Single line. Don't uh, fire till you see the light in their eyes. Don't fire until I see the. Until and I don't stop firing until the blood is more than what you can comprehend. Okay. Three, two, one, shot! Oh my God! Ah. Did you get him? Did you get him? Did you get him? For the north! They're really making a move. You gotta move, boys! Come on! Did you get it, Papa? <laughs> Don't you, worry. Did you get him? Did you die it? of fear. It's usually how it goes when Grandpa's got the gun. What do you see, Durley? Did you see that, Papa? What do you? What did you see, Durley? I. There was a buffalo and, I, and a deer that had a really long Where's neck. The buffalo? Where is, long, it? is this? It went this way, Papa. <laughs> Merlin's, <Yeah. laughs> look at Milton's character. He looks so funny, dude. Stay Come. on his trail. Stay on his trail. I see him. I see him, Papa. We're gonna need that meat. I see it as well. I got him, Papa. Get him. I got the buffalo, Papa. Got the buffalo. Looks like you got oh, something. Uh oh, that ain't no buffalo. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Looks like Mexican tonight. Uh oh. I know what to do in this situation. Nobody panic. Uh-oh, what happened? I, what happened to him? Did the buffalo run him over? No, you killed a man. Congratulations. Uh, what? You took a life of a man, uh, and you gained the life of a man. Uh, you just earned your woodsman man badge. Good uh, job, grandson. Uh, I couldn't have. There's no way. I, it was a buffalo that I... 
Why was it pie? Well, you know, um, it's get uh, your composer and build a fire. We got a corpse to burn. Easy, Derlin. Keep it in. Oh, gross. Oh, it's it's everything coming out of it's black liquid. Looks like raccoon meat. Oh, smells foul. Easy, darling, you know. I remember when Grandpa made me do this my first time. I threw up as well, but you gotta, you gotta stomach through it. It's something we all gotta do at least once. It's a part of nature. Would someone teach Percy how to build a fire so he can burn the evidence? Oh, uh... All right, uh, Percy, what do you know about starting a fire? You know anything at all? I mean, I don't have any equipment with me, so... Well, you're going to have to start with a small tinder bundle made of leaves, grass, small twigs, or pine needles. Do you happen to see any of that around us? Or do you see any? Do you see any? Or perhaps did you bring any flint or steel? Or flint or steel? Kindling? I would use my uh, lantern here, but that would be cheating. I'll be honest, you guys looked really overprepared, so I just, I was going to completely rely on you. Okay, we got a rookie here. You know what that means, Derlin. We got to do everything ourselves. We have to do everything ourselves. What the flip else is new? Okay, so we don't have a magnifying glass. No, we ain't got nothing. Okay, nothing, nothing. Okay, so we need to find some leaves here. Something to get a tender going. Some grass and small twigs. Help me find some twigs, boy. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Pa. <laughs> Looking for twigs here. I see. Gather some good ones. We're going to need a lot because this takes a lot of time and effort. It takes a lot of twigs to make a good fire. And once you find a few, go bring them over to your grandfather. Okay, Pa. Okay, I think I got enough here. <laughs> Done. Oh. Oh. Papa well, well, already made it. Well, we'll just keep the twigs on us in case we just in need, case to, we make need it, to make, another, make one. another one. Yeah, exactly right. So as you can see, uh, as you can see, uh, per, 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 Percy, that it's um, just a few twigs and you got yourself a fire using the power of your wilderness expertise brought to you by the Dewberry family. And now you're That's warm. Right. Ain't that right, Derlin? That's exactly right, Pa. I've never felt warmer. The Woodsman right. of America. I will admit that I I can't tell all if it's right, the... Pussy, tell a person here all about how to burn a body. Um, so, Percy, uh, in moments like these, when you got some meat and you, it's here, it's weighing down the the uh, whole uh, journey here, you gotta, sometimes you gotta get rid of the extra meat. Maybe we can use some of it for something, but in times like these, you gotta just, you know, throw it on the fire and uh, never speak of it ever again. Just like that. Whoa, he took quick oh. to that. That guy was covered in some kind of oh. liquid, but he really took to that fire quick. Oh. Wow. You know, I don't know whether it's the fire that's making me warm or if it's the numbness associated with the crippling experience of taking another man's life that I'm not sure that I'll ever recover from. No, boy, listen, it's fine. You gotta do this at least once and you'll learn a hard lesson about life. That's, that's the fair, lesson. Pa. What's the lesson to be learned here, Derlin? The lesson to be learned is that sometimes, sometimes you're hunting with your paw and sometimes you accidentally shoot a man and then you have to burn his body. That's not a bad lesson. Another lesson is don't go around walking around like you're a buffalo. Don't go acting like one in the That's open plains. You might be mistaken for one if you keep acting like one. Oh, the way that he was flashy color. That's right. He was he was sort of walking like a buffalo. It's the only reason that I shot towards him. Yeah, don't wear buffalo colors. Yeah, don't wear buffalo colors. What are you pointing at, Percy boy? The buffalo. buffalo. That's a horse. That's a horse. He's pointing at a horse, Pa. Why are you pointing at a horse, boy? We're looking for buffalo. Here's your binoculars. Let me look here with my eagle eyes. Yeah, my glasses aren't too good at night. Let me see what you're looking at here. Go ahead and point at it again. Okay, let me follow that finger and 
by God, it's a goddamn buffalo. If I'd be <laughs> fucked in the ass, it's a buffalo. Oh. Straight ahead. Ha. Straight as oh. rain. Well, if I'd be F-worded in the A-word, what do you think, Papa? Just below the small dipper, a whole family of them, but there could be more just over that hill. Do we have enough artillery for this one? What do you think, Papa? I think it's less talking and more shooting. Are you uh, ready? I'm ready, Papa. Let's do this thing. Nice and close now. Let's do this dewberry style. Stick to the bushes just like a sweet berry. Just like a sweet berry. We're sticking to the bushes, waiting for a little bird to swoop down and eat us. Get right. down, Percy boy. I know you're tough and all, but get down for the God's sake. He's gonna spoop him away. He's not walking. He's not crouching, Pa. There you go. Get down. All right. Do you see the one over there? I, I see, see it, it, Papa. For God's sake, right. Percy boy, control yourself. Control yourself. All right, everyone, get in a single line. We're more effective as a firing unit. Understand? Do Understand, Papa. Dewberries line up. Dewberries, Dewberries line up. and accompaniment. Dewberries and accompaniment line up. He's bugged, I guess. You all ready? Ready. All, all set, Papa. Charge! Ah! Ah! Good shot! Stab it, real guy! Yeah! Good job, everyone! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let it all out, Derwin! Let it out! Use all the status and emotion you have and let it out in a racing fury! Let the blood splash upon your face! You're doing great, boy! You're doing great! Give it one more! Okay, too much, too much, too much. Too much. All right, that's good. Too much, too much, too much. Easy now. You don't want to waste all your energy. We are done good, boy. See, doesn't right. that feel nice? Wow, Pa. I feel like a brand new man. You look like one. Walking a little bit taller. Now we're gonna... We're gonna uh, uh, Whoa! Excuse me. Watch out when, yeah. when Papa when Papa's taking care That's of the lesson. Yeah, you gotta watch out when Papa's taking care of the buffalo. Sorry. Lesson learned. What do you yeah, say, I Pa? I don't think I can pick this one up. Teach and... the man how to skin it. Alright, now you you know how you ever skinned one of these before? No, no, never. All right. Well, I can instruct you, or if you'd like, I can, I can, I can go ahead and do it, and you can, you can learn, and we'll do another one, and then you can do the next one. How about that? First thing you gotta do is put the knife square down the shaft of the penis, and then slide it all the way up to it the It always, tip. it always starts right, right between the, the balls neck. and the butthole. Now, you get down here, and you go ahead and go right for the balls, and you just, yeah, work your way through to the testes, and then. Yank the whole thing up on your back. Just like that. That's some pretty clean cutting. You want to know something interesting, Mr. Pussy? What's Guess that? what? My my papa told me that the same way he told me that the same way that you the same way that you feel dress a bison is the same way that you feel dress a person. Because one time, one time we were at our cabin, we were out by we were out by Moon pa Moonstone Lake, and a man came in late at night, and he had been drinking bourbon. And then Papa tied him up with a rope and showed me that you you feel dress a man the same way. You start at the penis, and you you put the knife up to the tip, and then you go all the way to the neck. You start between between the beepus and the butthole, and that's where you put the knife in. And that's what you do with the person too. Now you know. 
Well I done. I'm afraid this boy is taste for blood after killing that man up on the up on the ridge there. Now he's just I'm learning so the ways of the wilderness. Of him. It's fine. We'll, we'll we'll get you to ease up on that a little bit, Derlin, but good on you. You're starting yeah, to pick course. this up. I'm learning. All right, Derlin. All right, let's go cooking on the fire. Derlin, I want you to carry the meat. Oh, it's so heavy, Pa. You need to start learning how to put meat oh. on your back. Hoist it up, lift with your legs, not that's your back. Uh, I I thought that the way I was supposed to do it was I was supposed to stand with a quick jerking motion and sort of twist as I stand up. That was what that's Papa it. told me. That's precisely what you're not supposed to do. Oh, okay. So next time, use your legs. There's no fooling okay. around. No, no I know you always like to pick stuff up and go, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop. I don't. I don't know. That's not. I actually don't like to make that sound at all. I seen I seen you hanging with your friends just on the backside of town, and you're all hop, 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 hop. I no. can pick up this rock. Hop, hop, no. hop, hop, hop. I. That's only because I worked. That's only because I was playing with my friend Juji. He's a blacksmith's apprentice, and he when he hits the hammer on the anvil, he goes hop. But I only did that because I was trying to learn from him. Always talking about the Juji boy. Well, he's not the only one for for your rat for just for your beeswax, Dad. Tom also makes that noise, and he's all he's the blacksmith. Uh huh. Sure he is. So I like to see you make a freaking horseshoe. Keep your back a little bit straighter. You're starting to. I'm checking your posture, and you got the wrong form here. You're gonna hurt yourself. Time today. We're almost there. The fire's right over there. Just be and always be mindful of birds and hawks when you got meat on your back. Okay, Pa. Don't forget what happened to your cousin. The goddamn hawks nearly swept him away from us. Fire's still right, going. Put me on a fire. Toss it on. Everyone sit down around the fire and enjoy the warm embrace of the hot embers to remind us the inevitable hell that we'll all go to. What are you talking about, Pop Pop? Just life. Okay. Ugh. Is that the right way to cook it? Oh, yeah, that's good. You're never right. Look at it, nice and charred. Isn't that nice? Is the way it sizzles. Ah, oh, always feels good to take a load off at the end of the day. Come on, per Percy boy. Get down low and yeah. enjoy the fire. Do you have any campfire stories to tell us, Mr. Per Mr. Percy? The last time I was around a campfire, we were in India. Well, it was a lot bigger than this, and there was a lot of bodies on the fire. It's good a, story. No, it's not not a good story. Uh, I was really I've come here to fucking get away dumb. From it. I feel sad. Come here to get away from it, and you guys have really shown me what I can get out here. Although uh, you're burning the food there. You're burning the food. I like it charred. It's good. It's better charred. You can be sure you're getting rid of all the bugs and stuff. Better burnt than full of maggots. That's you, right. you can eat the maggots too. You know that. Yeah, but it ruins the flavor. See, this is why I only eat, I have to eat once every four days. Once every four days. Yeah, you eat the maggots too. Son, tell him about the time when your brother got infected with maggots right before he died and we had to survive on the mountain for two weeks on nothing but dead brother maggot. I don't remember that story. Pa, what is he talking? Oh. oh. You okay, Pa? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, it's I tumbling. think there's wolves out there. He's got rumblies in his tumblies. There's wolves out there, but good thing we got the fire to keep them away. Can I tell you a story about my pop pop? Mr. Pussy? I'm waiting for this guy Is to walk long into the fire and get himself well, lit up. Well, I don't know. Depends on how you define it. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, go on. Then. Okay, so have you, when you look around, have you seen that sometimes there's, have you looked, when you look around, did you, when you look, did you, when you looked around, did you see that sometimes there's even big balloons in the air and they're full of hot air sometimes? Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, so get this. So one time my papa was in one of those hot air, hot air, hot air Go things. On. Tents, a hot air ship. He was in a hot air ship, a hot air balloon. He was in a hot air balloon. He was in there with my pop pop was in there with a guy who was from France and a guy who was from Italy and a guy who uh, was from Germany and they were all up in this hot air balloon and then they when they when they got about 150 feet up they realized that there was that they didn't they lost all of their ballast and that the balloon was going to get swept away by the wind and so the the frenchman looked around at the other three and he's the the, the italian and he said what are we going to do and the italian looked around at the other three and he said we only have one rope that we can use to lower ourselves down from the balloon there's only one and that and it, we and then it'll then it'll fall off because they need the other three to counterbalance it and then um then so the german guy said what are we going to do? And the German guy said, I'm, I'm going to do this for my country. And he just jumped out of the balloon and he fell all the way down and then he died. And then the Italian guy looked around at everyone and he said, I do this for my country. And he jumped out of the balloon and he fell all the way down and he died too. And then Pop Pop looked at the Frenchman and he said, I do this for my country. And he pushed the Frenchman out of the balloon and then he took the rope and he went down and he survived. True story. And that, that happened. He did that. Pretty incredible, huh, Percy boy? Um, I, I've heard that same story from someone else. I'm not sure that's a, a story. Did that? Were you lying when you told that story, Papa? I was not a lie. That really did happen. Maybe it's that, quite a common occurrence. Maybe they stole his. Maybe they stole it from him. It's quite a story. I don't blame people for stealing it from you. Got any other stories there, Percy boy, besides yeah, yeah, sad India ones? Well, I have a, a local story, but um, it's about that slimy guy you have been dealing with recently, I, I believe. Oh, I got stories about slimy. I only met him today, and I already got about two stories about him. What'd he do to you? Um, He convinced me that I had cholera, but he convinced me that I caught it from someone else, despite me... um going to the doctor and being told it's not infectious. Oh. Uh. Just coax in the fire, continue. Oh. Okay, go ahead there, Mr. Per Mr. Percy. Uh, shouldn't we be getting shelter? Nonsense, nature's our shelter. If we have a little bit of rainfall? You, you told me rain. nature was a whore and she was gonna fuck me. She is a big bosom whore and we're gonna Suck on the nature's teat milk of rain and enjoy it. I mean, the, the fire is going to go out. Yeah, the fire might go out a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Might be a good chance for us to lay our canteens out and collect some rainwater. Get the canteens from up right now, water. Remember to leave your canteen open there, Derlin. Let it fill up. You just I'm, store it, and it's good. I'm leaving it open. In a pinch, it'll be good. We'll wring our clothes out into them after this. Yeah, I can't wait. That's my favorite part. It always tastes a little salty. But remember, what did I always tell you? And this is a lesson for you too, pussy boy. Remember that lakes and puddles are filled with... Uh, lurches. Yeah, exactly. And lurches... Got all kinds of bugs and bad little things in there that'll make your tummy upset. Yeah, they make your tub tub upset. So you don't we, want an upset lurches. tub tub. Yeah. You always want running water or the rain is fine. You can put your tongue up, open, you know, look straight uh, up. Look at Derlin. Uh, look at Derlin with his mouth straight up. That's good. That's what you want. Just drink it up. Don't forget Perfect. to swallow. Don't drown. Can I, can, I, can I tell you a joke that I learned? I can tell you a joke that I learned. 
Do I learn? Do I hear a joke that I learned? I is can tell it, you a joke that I learned. Is it wilderness appropriate, Derlin? Yes, because I learned it from a man in I learned it from a man in Valentine. He taught it to me while you were while you were while you after you fell in the water, a man taught it to me in the saloon. All right, go ahead. So he told me that first he told first he told me that there's a kind of bird that lives way up way up in the north, but it's a really fat little bird and it doesn't even fly. It's just got big flappy arms that it puts by its side and it's 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 got it's got a big white tum tum. It's black and it's got a big long beak and it's called a, a penguin. A pe penguin. 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 It's called a penguin. That's what I said. And then get this. So okay, here's the joke. Okay, a penguin went to Valentine because and then when he got into Valentine, the, the wheel fell off of his cart. So he went to the black he went to the blacksmith and he said, Can you take a look at my cart? And the blacksmith said, Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. So the penguin was walking around, um, the penguin was walking around Valentine and decided to kill some time. So he went into the general store and he got an ice cream and he was eating the ice cream. But since he's got those little flippers, he got ice cream all over his face, and all over his mouth and all over his face. But he had this ice cream and it was really nice. And then he went back to the blacksmith and he said, oh, Mr. Blacks Mr. Blacksmith, uh, can you tell me what's wrong with the, can you tell me what's wrong with the cart? And he says, oh yeah, it looks like you just blew a seal. And he says, no, it was just ice cream. <laughs> it's, just, it's just ice cream on my face, is get, what he said. You get that one, you get, Percy you Mike? get it? I gotta be honest, he lost me about halfway through. One time. It's mostly I, for what's been of America. Derlin, Derlin's always doing the darndest things with his friend over. They go to St. Dennis, and one time they were all over there, and they got ice cream at the parlor, and then they put it over an open flame till it got nice and hot and started bubbling, and they pick it at the, at the very top of the ice cream that makes a film. Like a solid. When you get ice cream hot enough, it turns into a solid film. And they throw it around like an Italian man tossing around some dough. And they spin it and they put it on each other's face and they play tag. Derlin's always doing the darndest things with his hot ice cream friend. Uh, uh, uh. I would like it to be known. I would like it to be demonstrated for the record that I have absolutely no predisposition towards ice cream that's been heated up. I don't like it at all. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Paul, how about you tell the story of those Gummer boys everyone was talking about? They died. <laughs> Good story, Grandpa. Great story. Yeah. I love when you tell that one. Yeah. They died. They died. Uh, what do you think, Grandpa? Should we go and let him shoot his own, his own buffalo now? There's, a, so. there's oh, an infinite geez. number of them. Look, boys, we talked so many stories, the meat burned. Oh, well, for for Pete's puss. We got but, caught up in so many stories, the meat went bad. I don't even think you can get any nutrition off of that. It's mostly just charred smoke and bits of the fire. I think it is. Probably hurt your mouth something bad trying to eat all those splinters. Yeah, it's best just to leave that there, I think. Now, well, let's our, see. What time is where it? Did our, where did our cart go? Where's the cart here? All right, use your Netflix thing. Using, using the sun and my watch. Let's see here. Um, what do you think, Papa? Oh, right, this way. Yeah, yeah. You guys are right. How, yeah. about, how much longer do we have, Pa? Um, what do you think? Uh, looks like, you know, uh, yeah, we definitely did let that meat go too long. Should have kept my eyes on the... The watch here. And That's the okay. The sun would have been a, you know, the sun coming up would have been also a good indication. But it's fine. Uh, the wilderness con adventure continues. Where's the way? All right, let's go. Let's keep heading this way. Straight, Where's straight the way? And true. I believe this was the direction of the wagon before we got a little bit sidetracked there. Percy, did you ever hear about those Gummer boys? No, who are they? They died. Oh yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's crazy. I'll be sure to tell people. Now don't be fooled by these plants, Percy boy. None of these are edible. Don't go acting like Durlin. Every time I turn around, he's got a twig in his hand. He likes to chew on them. 
that's okay. I don't eat anything green. Let me see those Sometimes hands, Sterling. Let me see those I, hands. I didn't have one. I didn't have one. Okay, I, I dropped ahead. it in the fire. It's always chewing on sticks. I don't know where he gets that from. It's good for your teeth. You gotta learn <laughs> over hobby. time. There's only one way to le really learn, Percy. You gotta try them all. Some will kill you, some will make you sick. There's only one way to really find out. Do you wanna, you wanna know something really interesting, Mr. Percy? Get this, get this. You see, do you see this plant right here? Do you see this plant right here that has the brown, the brown and the red, the brownie red flowers? Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's a horse willow, and you can tell it, it. You can tell that it's a horse willow because of the way that it is. You sure can. Do you see the way that it is? <laughs> Don't go listening to every little thing he says. Now you know it. it if it ain't a cattail, wild grass, dandelion, or acorns, I'd say don't even risk it. So I find his stories interesting. He has it's quite the imagination. Uh, len lengthened my right. attention span. Yeah. Okay, okay, Grandpa. I'll always have my guard up. Did you learn a lesson there? Did you learn a lesson there? How does my face look? Looks like you learned a lesson from Grandpa. That's for sure. Uh. You all right? It's just like it's just like Grandpa always says. What do you tell Durlin if he has two black eyes? Nothing. You already told him twice. You're starting to learn. I'm proud of you. Everybody wagging up. Hey, what are you doing? You're not allowed to ride in the front. That's Pa's place. Sorry, Percy boy. You got to get in the back. That's Pa's spot, you jerk. No, nah, you paid for top dollar. You're not as much as a disappointment. You can ride up front. Oh. But Pa, I thought we discussed that that would be a bad look on the, the company. Get down, We're Percy. Right. Okay. Come so on up, I Percy. Come on the side. Come on up. No, you have to ride up. You have to ride up top with right up. with Grandpa. You gotta ride up top. I'll ride with you, Pa. Come on back here, boy. Sit your butt down. <laughs> I'm trying, Pa. Oh. There you go. I got, there we go. I got some biscuits here in my pocket. Have one. Oh man, I love biscuits. Pa, why is the sky blue? Well. If you look around, you see everything's green. So God was like, well, that's enough of that. So I had to make the rest blue. Hey, Amen. Oh, that yep. makes sense. <laughs> exactly. It also makes it easier for us to see the stars and the sun. But, but don't stare at the sun. All right. You just know <laughs> where it is based on the direction it sets, which would be west. There, that a boy. You hear that, Grandpa? I'm learning. Knowledge. He's not impressed. Gr Grandpa, did you hear that? He said West. Grandpa, did you hear? I said West, Grandpa. I think maybe he just can't hear us. Maybe he's having his Every own now and then, learn this, Percy. Use defiant scenarios against your children. They'll love you more and pay attention if you ignore them like the little bastards they are. I hear you. So, J Jason told me, Jason told me when we were we were playing catch ball, he told me that there's a city, there's a city where they're trying to make, they're trying to do, they're trying to have lanterns that don't even take oil. They just, they get a cord that goes into them and then they just turn on. Turn on? Yeah, they turn on is what he said. I don't know if that means that that the that it, there's that it goes through the tube, that there's oil that goes Defend through the tube. Defend yourself! Uh, well, Defend yourself! Defend yourself? Defend yourself! Defend yourself! What do we got? What's Defend going on? Yourself. What's going on? Oh, what? What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Well, well, Serpentine! Oh. Serpentine! Oh. Good work, everyone. Good work. What the heck was that? 
I told Percy here I was gonna try to take his life at a random moment. And he did it! Here you go! Your gold star of the Woodsman of America. Congratulations, you passed. It's an exciting day when you get your first. Oh! Man, hey, pop, 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 pop. Spirit. What the that hell is going on? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, you wanna fucking know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah! The triple decker for West Presbyterian Knot! Very good. Alright, cut him loose. He did good. He did good. You did good, pussy boy. Everyone, congratulate him. Yeah. Give him the Woodsman Cree. <laughs> I am a woodsman. A woodsman. A woodsman. The woodsman. The woods are my woodsman home. My home. I, I am a woodsman. woodsman. Now, now leave, leave me alone. alone. Good job. Good All on right. ya. To town. Pick up your hat, pussy. Pick up your hat, pussy. Get your hat, pussy boy. Pussy boy, get your hat. Good knot there, son. Good work. I, I made sure as soon as I saw that danger was afoot. The triple decker West Presbyterian knot was there to save the day. Uh, I was surprised you didn't go with the bowline knot. Well, I find that the bowline, I find that the bowline knot, while effective, is not as is not as impressive visually. Right, but what's the trick? The rabbit always comes out of the hole yeah. in front the of the tree. In front of the tree. Behind the tree. Behind my the tree. Son. Down the hole. Down the hole. Now repeat it back to me. The ra the rabbit comes out of the hole, ra goes around the tree, goes behind the tree, and then goes back into the hole. Well done. You might end up. I might have to give you a not badge after that. <gasps> a not badge, my very own. Oh man. The Mr. Pussy. Mr. Pussy. Yeah, yeah. I got a question for you. Go ahead. What's your thought on whores? Uh, well, I just made my first appointment when you mentioned the brothel back in Valentine, so I'm yet to see. Good! Every woodsman four generations deep are all sons of whores. Is the a woodsman or just a family business, or are you part of a bigger organization? A woodsman is a way of life, Percy. Way of life, okay. Way of life. We oh, live off the horror of nature, and the horror provides a way of life. Personally, I've always found that particular nomenclature to be slightly problematic, but I'm too afraid to bring it up to Grandpa. Well, until you've been with a whore, you won't know. That's right. Say no more until you fuck the whore. I just said, Grandpa. What, what he means, son, is you fall a lady and you fall, a pro you, you fall in love with a proper lady. Fall in love with a proper lady. That's what I want to do. A lady who knows how to rip the ribbon-like material right off of a willow bark. What he's trying to say is for his 16th birthday, I got him drunk on bourbon and bought him a 300-pound whore. Nine months later, we got... Darling back there. Yeah, was, uh, I asked. I asked Jason how it worked, and he said that my paw peed inside of her. It was, it was a big, it was a learning experience, and I cried a lot, but it made me a man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it did, and uh, it'll Take be his yours. turn next soon. That's right. Two weeks. Two yeah. weeks. I don't know, I think My he's ready. He's gonna be a man. A man today. In two weeks, ready. young Dylan's gonna be a man. Uh oh. We're gonna two. get. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crash reset. What's gonna be, boys? Did we lag? I think we crashed. F's. F's and F's and F's. Perma. <laughs> God damn. Just keep having disconnects, dude. I I'm okay with the hiccup we had earlier, though. That was kind of fun. The little side quest with uh, Slimy. It's just frozen. Yeah, I think my shit got bucked. I think we got bucked. 
I think we got fucked. Idris, my guy. Yo, thanks for the 23 months prime. You Djibouti fellers are nuttier than a squirrel shit. Best show on Twitch. Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> thanks, boy. Appreciate you, dude. This is fucking funny, excellent RP. It's been a blast, dude. Today's fun. I like these characters a lot. It's been really fun. Oh, wow. Come on, 5M. It won't even crash on me. Just If you're gonna crash, just crash on me. Shout out to all the lurkers, too. Some of you guys at work. Some of you guys hanging out. Playing other games. Come on, just crash. Close the program. Close the program, Pilgrim. Verzu, coming in with the Prime 27. What up, dude? Snag. What up? Thank you for the whole year, Snag. Hello, right back to you. Uh, Lulu, would you guys ever play Undertale? I forget which one that is. Is that the, the game that the um, Super Meat Boy people did? Um, I might be thinking of something else, but uh, I've heard a lot about Undertale. Joker's Lack, thank you as well. And Popo! Coming in, making it drop -o. Back off, Pops. Trying to claim me. Did everybody else... Do you, know if, do you guys know if the other boys crashed? Thank you, Popo. Popo's sharing some love on a thirsty Thursday. Clever play on words coming in right behind him. Grabbing his hips. Saying, I'm right here with you, Pops. Bada boom, bada bang. They, they did not. Okay. I figured it was just me. It seemed like a single, singular crash. Let's see where I pop in, though. Let's see if I can pop back in. Gifty subs on gifty subs. Chip scramble squeezed in there with a billion bits. Thank you. Thank you. Chip on scrambles. Thank you, dude. Clever, thank you, dude. Thank you. More RP, more. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to hop back in. Red M is, I tried opening it. It's just being a bitch right now. It's, it's wrestling me. It's in a full clinch. If you pop back in, they won't even notice. I hope so. That'd be cool if I was just on the back. Yo, Jimmy the Pat, 64. 64. So long ago, dude. I've been saying Jimmy the Pat for a long time, dude. Jimmy the Pat. Jimmy the Pat. Why are the servers not even popping up for me? What the hell is going on? Come on, servers. I might have to do some investigation real quick. I can't even get the server to pop up. Red Dead RP, RP always lit. Always lit. Even when it goes wrong, it feels so right. Let's see if I can't find my way to get back in this bitch. Come on, Red Dead. Give me a goddamn break, dude. Let me back in. Let's see here. Okay, I think I have a way. I gotta go hacker mode. Come on, Red M. Let me back in. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out. Come on back in. Red M, play. Okay, I think I figured out a oh, way. We're, we're, we're logging in. Back into the mainframe. Just like that. Coming on back in. Thanks for having an early stream for us East Coast folk. Yeah, dude. I like, uh, I like our day streams. Came a cool part of the schedule. Showing you guys some love.
should be it shouldn't be too hard to get back in here load up the VoIP let's see if we don't log right back in right next to everybody this loading screen so cool Frank Dewberry Dewberry doing it like the Dewberry let's see let's see where are we boys where are we dropping all right boys where are we dropping come on off to the tilted towers let's fucking go boys Woo winner winner chicken dinner we're dropping in Where are we dropping? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. What the? Where'd they go? I fell off the back and fell asleep. Oh, geez. There's my backpack. It's over here in a bush. Let me grab it. I fell right off the back of that wagon. Well, in times like this, you got to stick to what feels right. Check your map. Check your map or not. My map's not working. Is the server dying on me or am I just cursed? Buttons aren't working. Cool. Emotes still pop up. Cool. We'll just have to use my tracking prowess. Let's see. Let's see here. Just got to do what Dewberries do best. That's where your surroundings. Wow, I can't even fucking tap my weapon. This is some bullshit. If a wolf comes out, I'm dead as shit. How the hell am I supposed to survive this? <sighs> I feel like it's a ring of light around me. That was crazy. Let the chin guide me. Let the chin guide me. <laughs> Let the chin guide me. <laughs> I don't even want to weep. Am I even in the world? Why <laughs> are my buttons not working? <laughs> Fuck me. I think I am just fucked. This is weird. Um, might have to re-log. I know sometimes when you log back in, it just takes a minute, though, for things to kind of catch up. So I'll just give it a second before I decide to re-log. Yeah, my buttons ain't working, boys. And the textures ain't loadings. What is that all about? Running around. Looks like I'm running around in PlayStation 1. What the hell? The ground is made of PlayStation 1. Sega Dreamcast. Oh. Pardon me. What the heck's going on? Uh, I'm getting a little spooked now. I'm not sure what's going on. Is this really happening? What's going on? Starting to see spooks now. I hope I didn't upset the spirit of the wilderness here. That would be a shame. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh no, I'm trapped in PlayStation 1. Red Dead Silent Hill. This isn't good. Gonna have to take a quick nap and try it again. That's not good. Disconnect. All right, let's try logging back in. Run it back. The Lost Woods? Could it be? The Lost Woods I've heard so much about? Oh well, run it back. Run it back and we'll be back in there. Come on, Red M. 
focus. Oh, yeah. Have they noticed you left? I have no idea, dude. I'm just trying to get Red M to run properly. Come on, Red M, just work, please. Just let me play. I want to play the game. Please let me play the game. Just let me play the game. Let's try it again. Let me play the game. Let me play the game. Round two. Let's go. Okay, bring me back. Better than a six hour queue. Yeah, remember those days? Remember those days? I think pretty soon here we're going to start seeing a lot of other Red M servers pop up. I'm excited to see what other people bring with their emotes and their functionalities. Frank Dewberry. You know, seen a lot pop up. Heard through the grapevine there's some cool ones on the way. Just around the block. And so looks like the journey continues. Frank Dewberry. That ground not loading looks scary. That looks scary. Why is the ground not loading? Why is the ground not loading? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, the ground's there. I feel like I've been here before and did this. My backpack, it's over here in a bush. Okay. What's that? Use? Uh-oh. I'm so scuffed. So scuffed. I can't get my map to pop up. Can't get my fucking backpack on. I am so fucked right now. And the boys are still going, right? They're not having any problems on this server? Oh. That's bad. That's real bad. That's real bad. Sorry, fellas. Sorry, fellas. They're still going? Wow. All right. Mm, Alt F4 again. Let's try running it back again. Gonna, well, yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to delete my system 32 files again. Just want to get back to the wilderness. Let's try, uh, let's try it again. Come on, Red M, just work. Just letting them know. So scuffed, boys. Trying to get back in. Just letting them know. I am fucked. It's fucking good. Connecting third time. Let's see if it works. What up, Coolie boy? How you doing, Coolidge? We tried turning it off and turning it on again. Yeah, round three. Let's go. Turn it off, turn it on. Uh, reset to default passwords. Resetting the default passwords. Turning it off, turning it on. Doing all right, how's RP? It's cool. We're doing something a little bit more cartoony and wacky. It's been a lot of fun. Doing nature tours. And I don't know shit about nature, so that makes it fun. Just pull shit out of our ass about moss on trees. Looks like Pops picked up Coolidge, a little submarino. Look at that. Want to change the world? 
There's nothing to it. No, just load the ground. Why is the ground not loading? Come on, ground load. Let's see. Maybe we're lucky. You never know. I'm starting to wonder if it's because I bugged out on the back of a wagon that I'm just somehow just cursed. Okay. We'll just play it easy. Play it real easy. Oh, yeah. My map doesn't... I mean, I'm in the server. Map doesn't work. Buttons don't work, though. Try respawning. Is there an actual command to just respawn? I don't think there is. Die? No. I don't know. That's the only thing I could think of. Is some kind of... Uh... Yeah, I never had this issue before. No map. No tab. No nothing. Very weird. Jump off a cliff. Let's try to find some wolves. Yeah. Can't imagine how hard it is to actually kill your... What? What the... What the... What the... What? <laughs> I slid on a rock. And now everything works. That's all you gotta do is fall off a rock. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. All right. Now, if I was them, I would head... Let's just go here. I'll head to a town, and we'll start from there. One hike out of town. Oh, let me get my backpack. Left it in a bush. Backpack. Boom. Got my lantern here. It's easy. Follow the road. Stay south. Straight true. Let's do this. Once you hit rock bottom, that's when you know you're on your way. You're getting back on the trail and back on track. You just gotta stick to the plan, that's all. Keep your gun on you, too. You don't want these wolves coming at you, Frankie. There you go. Locked and loaded. It's gonna move on. Double time, double time. Knees, knees, knees. Remember, if the wolves come, just gotta outrun them. Just gotta find some ankle break. Not today. Sorry, buddy. But I gotta do it. Good. No wolves today. I don't think so. Don't fucking think so. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Just play it cool. That's all it is mind playing tricks on you. Double time. Let's get out of here. Let's get on out of here. Come on now. Through the low textures we go. Not so bad. One fox, that'll do. Let's just head and head over to Rhodes. What's this here? Lemyon, Lemyon. Remember that. Don't forget about Lemyon. Howdy, Hello. howdy, howdy, there, I partners. I assume you're going to Rhodes. I'm headed to Rhodes. Is there any chance you might have seen some uh, fellas wearing the similar uniform of camping attire yes. that I'm currently wearing? 
we did yeah they went yeah. to Rhodes. say uh i'm stranded out here you i had a real bad headache fell off the wagon and got lost you, Do you want to ride to Rhodes? would you be so kind we don't mind <laughs> Oh, I greatly appreciate it. I tell you what, I'll throw in a free nature tour if you want. Sure, why not? Are you guys interested in ever learning about nature? I'm your guy. The name's Frank Dewberry. Pleasure to meet you. Name's Dallas. Dallas? Pleasure to meet you, Indeed. Dallas. Yeah. And what might your name be, miss? Her name's Lorena. Right. Lorena. Quiet type, huh? I uh, know she likes to daydream sometimes. Oh, yeah. Maybe sh maybe hopping on the back of her ride was a little bit oh, too forward of me. Maybe sorry. I should just hop on the back of yours, Dallas. I didn't yes, mean to spook the lady. For the best. <laughs> Rude of me Not to just hop good. on the back okay. without letting you know I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's pretty uh, wild on that horse. So what brings you two out coming this way? Well, we were going to Valentine, and we found someone walking just like you, sitting in the roads. I well, guess the story right. repeats. Well, all right. Yeah, I'll have you know I am a part of the Woodsmen of America, and uh, me and my boy, uh, Derlin, and my pa, Frank, uh, Fred, we're out here teaching people all about nature. Well, uh, I know the 16-year-old's name. He shot the hat off of someone, and that guy fainted. Oh, well, yeah, they might have been looking for me. I don't know what they're doing over here, but I figured they went on down south to Rhodes. But I'll go find them there, and uh, I tell you what, next time you see us coming around, we'll offer you a free tour on the house, anywhere you want to go. You want to you wanna look at some bears? We'll take you to bears. You want to go swimming? We'll take you for a dip. I'm glad to hear that. I'd love to do that, actually. I'd I don't know if I'm take, going for a dip with you guys, though. Uh, uh, Shelly, I think her name was, was telling us all about your little swimming trip with her. Oh, yeah, Shelly. She's good people, but uh, uh, we had a, a slimy fellow with us. You guys happen to know Slimy? Mm, no, but Shelly was mentioning that name. Well, I saved Slimy's life. The poor bastard went drowning in the river. I swam after him, and some natives found us coming down the river and saved us. Sounds like you got lucky, I guess. Well, I don't know what happened to good old Shelly, but we was having a good time before we parted ways. Thanks, Milton. Well, they we took Shelly here. here as well. Sorry for the scuffiness. Well, tell you what, I greatly appreciate the ride. I'm going to head in and uh, see if I can't find my family and probably get myself something to eat. Dallas, it's been a real pleasure. Next time you see me, I'm telling you, on the house. Hope so. Well, all right, you two be on your way. Stay stay safe out there, huh? There's a lot of wolves out there. If you see wolves, remember, just run up and down the switchbacks. Don't try standing there with your six shooter. They'll take you out for sure because they work yeah, in Dallas, that was Oh, the, uh, I know. I got scars in my chest because of that. Yeah, just run on foot like I did earlier, right down the cliff. That's the only way. That's your only option. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Godspeed, you two. Godspeed. You stay safe. Good people. Good luck finding your family. Well, maybe check ourselves into this hotel and see if their family's here. But yeah, dude, I had so much scuff going on, man. Jesus. And then uh, sorry about earlier as well. My bad, dude. Um, Vanilla Creme, thank you for the two months. This was a lot of fun, though. The, this family is so fucking fun, dude. I had, like, the goofiest music for when Milton was doing shit. I had all this fucking Looney Tunes music playing. Dude, Milton, your character's fucking face was killing me. It shit was so funny. Shit was so fucking... As soon as I... I didn't get a chance to really even look at Discord to see your character, so as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Other than the scuffiness and the late start, this was a blast, man. I can't wait to do these characters again, dude. So fucking fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm guessing you guys just went to Rhodes and called it because I was, dude, I was scuffed so bad. I had problems going on with connecting I've never even seen before. Um, <laughs> dude, when me and uh, Slimy went off, dude... 
we had our own little adventure. We spawned at like a native place and we were just free balling it. And then wolves came. It was, uh, it was a shit show. Can't wait for the next episode. Oh, shit, Alpha Unicorn. Thank you, dude. Uh, thank you for the gifty subs. Thank you as well to all the bet squatters. Appreciate all of you. But uh, I'm going to get out of here because I got to eat something. I'm dying. But this was fun. We'll continue. It just goes to show with Milty and Classy. Even if our characters all get high nooned, you better believe the next time we go up, we're going to have some new shit. Can't stop, won't stop. Watching from Classy's perspective, it was fantastic. I want to watch Classy's thing. We're, you know, on the fly, we're trying to figure out our dynamic. I like him being the older dude just talking shit, though. It was really fucking funny. Um, but appreciate you guys watching today. Uh, play some RP alone. It feels weird to do this guy all, all by himself. And I'm starving. I have not eaten anything. Um, but yes, tomorrow we'll be going live. Doing some watch party business. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. All the tits, bits, subs, and resubs. No high noons today, boys. <laughs> Just scuffness. <laughs> Just scuffness. And bullshitting nature facts. Hope you all have a fantastic Thursday. I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Take care of yourselves, huh? Try to spread some love and positivity out there. That's what we need more now than ever. Some love and positivity! Until next time, friends. I'll be seeing you. Peace, 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 peace.